probably winding up now. We'll have to fix that camera after we do these. Azio, Azio. Where's what? Just go back. Where does the live thing come up? Uh, it should be on the subscribe button. Oh, Lord. Thank you. It's a Oh, now you got to show up. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Is it going? Should be. I'm just trying to... I have to sign out, sign in, because now that I have Trello for work and for here, I have to change my interface every time. <clears throat> okay, so this can slide over to the other window, which I forgot I'm not sharing to. So this can go over here. Oh my god, I have... Like a hundred million Chrome windows open. <laughs> oh God! Oh, that was my browser. Son of God! Oh, come on! Getting my liver warmed up. <laughs> now, Mark. I need to figure out how to pop out this window. Hmm, what's my favorite drink? Top chat, white, what the frick? Live chat, top chat, live chat, all messages are visible. Freaking melt. Where? 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 Oh, turn, turn. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. Uh. Oh wait, it's okay. Oh. No steam for the duel. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, it's even got batteries at work. <laughs> it does, cause we use it. ready peoples there we go uh oh jennifer do you want to assist me with blinding these uh yep i think you're gonna water the tips of these to keep them watery um how did you label them last time Sticky and a pencil. Um, how did I? I got yellow sticky. Yeah, maybe I just put I'm gonna mark a one, two, three on there. Four. Yeah. <coughs> uh, let's see what's going on, everybody. Oh, stick them on there? Yeah. How do I do that? Just this part, maybe? Yeah. Like this? Tiny. I only have to put one. Oh, 
come on, really? Hopefully they stay. Uh, what do we have? What? No, what are you doing? What do you have? a batch version for the penny glue. Oh. There, there's a couple different numbers. Three. Do, 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 four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's XO, I think. Yeah. It says, it says, it says XO? It's, yeah, well, he said, do you like Penny Blue XO or one of the batch versions? Oh, so maybe like Penny Blue XO or specifically batch two. Yeah, can I? Can oh, that's not even open yet. This isn't even open yet. Do, 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 do. <coughs> they don't have a thingy? Yes, they do. So what I wanted to start with first, for those that are here and wondering what the crap is they just tuned into, uh, I want to do a bourbon blind tasting because uh, the ninth Hydra on YouTube asked me to, and I immediately responded with, are you crazy? That's super expensive. Then I was at the store. <laughs> And then I bought some stuff. Oh, uh, you didn't take the one, two, three, four thing. Are you letting you have them for me? Okay, hold on. Uh, the only one we didn't have that they wanted was, uh... No, we found... No, there's one. Four Roses. Yeah. We have single barrel. They were talking small batch. And most of those, I think, are small batch. So I didn't want to mix single barrel with small batch, because... I think small batch means blended and single barrel doesn't or something. I'm not going to pretend to know what small batch means, but I know it's not that. Uh, whoa. So, where's my uh, screen screens? I have no idea how many people are in here right now. All of them. All of them. 22. Good call, Ian. Yeah. All of the peoples are here. Yeah, I was a little stressful. Had work to do, got done work. Came down here, had to clean, because it wasn't clean since the last time we did this. <laughs> and that was fun. Oh, I gotta get some juice things. I'll get them later. Oh, crap! Hold on. I never unfroze the juice. That's gonna be a problem. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Cool. Whoa. So, we're going to have to squeeze some of those on the fly. Ah, uh, warm water. Not belty water this time. A couple of them are a little heavy on the floor. It's hard to see back there. Yeah, but it's probably better. Because we always end up needing multiple sips. Yeah. What side is hot? Oh, the side of the red. So I'll start thawing these a little bit. We don't actually know what we need first. <laughs> wow. Okay, those are really big pores. <laughs> so 
Jennifer's like, she was getting drunk tonight, yo. I told you it was hard to see. You know they're coming back to you, right? <laughs> I'll try, there's a couple of them, I do you want to try, actually You want to try three ounces or so? <laughs> I told you a couple of them were a heavy pour. Well, that keeps any type of confusion on coloring, although they do all look about exactly the same color. Is this small batch? No, it's just straight. I don't know what the heck that means. Straight bourbon whiskey. Whatever. We got what we got. Uh, Buffalo Trace. Sexy telephone voice. Hey, Wade. We got a dollar donation from Wade. You ready, Ian? Are you ready? This is my between the scenes. Between the scenes? Uh, this like, is a good like, warm up. Like two days. So my fingers are like. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, two I days. In two days? I usually can get my calluses to last at least like a month. Well, they'll they'll last. I just don't want them to soften up on me. You, I don't want them to wear down on me. You, you ever have them mean? fall off? Is 1792 off? a rye or wheat? I don't know. It's I just did what they told me to. It's a yeah. What's 1792? Small batch. It's a year. Straight bourbon whiskey. It better be bourbon because this is a bourbon tasting, isn't it? Uh, bourbon whiskey. It's, it's a very small general. batch proof. 92. I just bought what I had available, 94. They're all Are we doing something with this? We will, so yeah. that's putting it out to pasture? Yeah, we're going to need... seen better days. That was from last week's party thing. <laughs> They're fine. Oh, okay. It, I can feel it. It's got some... It's a, it's a grapefruit. The vest does get smaller and smaller. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting to wash it. It shrinks on its own. Oh, that must be it. <laughs> Yay! I can do that. No, let's not do that. Look, we got we got tips already. Holy crap! You're talking about the second grain in the mash bit, bill. Bill of what? The I dude. Is it, if it's not on here, I don't. They don't put the mash bill on here, do they? I'm guessing it's a wheat. Uh, it's probably just a regular. It's bourbon. It's no. I literally just unwrapped I it. Know. I bought it like last week, two weeks, last week. We bought it last week. We just didn't bring it with us. Distilled we and bottled, so it is. No, we didn't do that either. Distilled and bottled. What the hell did we bring? We brought something over there. I think we brought larceny. We just never opened yeah, it. Yeah, we didn't open it. Okay. I, I don't know. I literally. This is out. this is like on the fly. Derek was cleaning, going, "Oh, <laughs> we should do this." So, whatever so that means. Really do. So you get what you pay for. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so far, they're getting two dollars worth. Well, each of them is getting a dollar worth. Yeah, Let's you guys that. are getting a dollar. No worth. one person is getting two dollars worth. Let's <laughs> slow down. Yeah, we got. We gotta <laughs> bring it back down to center. This is not that type of you show. You can you tie you. Yeah, just like just like what I do. When just my like a wife little says, bit. I don't want it tight. I just want it on there so it's not dangling. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> do what you want to do. <laughs> how do you how do you lock it? You just. Zoot, zoot. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah. Oh, that, dude, that's like freaking magic. Is that better? Yeah, thank you. I'm what? getting Derek to dress me. It's good. Is that, <laughs> you can't do this? No, I'm too fat. <laughs> that's a quote. No. It works for lots of things. You can use that for a lot of things. Yeah, no, I use it a lot all the time. I'm too, yeah. fat. I'm too fat to do that. I can't do that. Well, we went on a 12-mile bike ride last weekend. I'm too fat for that. We're going on a bike ride tomorrow, I think. I'm too fat for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> it works for everything, is see? That, is that great? I know. Eating? Not too fat. I shouldn't. I'm too fat for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But I, I guess, will anyway. I guess it works for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's... Uh, I don't like to do it. It's very uncomfortable. I know. Didn't you see okay. me screaming? Yeah. And, and you got weighed, too? Yeah, that's why we got our. We have two dollars worth of, of effort we're putting in right now. That's why we're we're so enthusiastic because we're doing the show specifically for them. The rest of you guys can fuck off. Yeah, so hair's, <laughs> hair's messed up, isn't it? Mine? Yeah, I said comb your hair before we start. It's a bit of a mess. There you go. Good job. So weak. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't shave it, so this is what. Yeah, I got little baby hairs growing. Like oh, yeah. Stop it, Ian. You're not. I'm not. <clears throat> Whatever were you saying? Tell any, tell oh, any. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I am. It's okay. I've, I've accepted it. I'm fine with it. He can be fat. I'll be <laughs> it's sexy. Just, it's just weird. I'm fine, I'm with, fine it. with it. If I weren't fine with it, I'd do something about it. There you go. <laughs> there is logic to that. Thank you. All right. Here we go. I'm not going to know. I'm not, I don't know why this is puked. Oh, because the little baby hairs. I get it. Yeah. yeah. That's how I, I know when to shave. I probably have. Oh, yeah, too. you do too. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can't do light. about it. 
These lights like the, let the pubes shine on yeah. your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna bother to unpack that. This little light of mine, <laughs> your I'm pubes gonna let are it shine. shining. Just start. All right. All my pubes, all my pubes. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Comic Cocktails. Ian and uh, me, Derek. Well, I can't remember my name out of everybody. You want, you want to try that again? Too much herbs. No. No. Okay. I don't want to try it again. Jump cut. Uh, oh wow, my tie is crooked as a motherfucker. Not drunk, no, not high, crazy. just crazy. We are going to be tasting. Oh, that should be my notes, like the beginning of the show. Not drunk, not high, just just crazy. Yeah, not high, not drunk, asking. just high. No, not high. Not drunk, yeah. not high, just crazy. Just us. Just yeah. a little bit psycho. Just a little bit crazy. Oh, we got more donations. Anyway, hold on. Let's That's start this. California money. That, Canada money. That doesn't count. Canada. California money. <laughs> <laughs> they got their own currency now. <laughs> now. In case you guys didn't know, you heard it here first. California so, has its own currency. We have a, a user named, uh, a fan of our show, I'm going to say, because it makes us sound more important. Right. Named, User's uh, kind of impersonal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Ninth yeah. Hydra asked, how about... You do a blind bourbon blind tasting with Buffalo Trace, 1792 small batch, Eliza Craig, uh, Four Roses small batch, and Larceny small batch. I've seen a couple of bourbon videos, and you had Buffalo Trace and Eliza Craig. All you need are all the other ones. That's and I was like, surprisingly specific request. It was. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't have Four Roses small batch. I have Four Roses single barrel, but I didn't think it would fit in here because uh, reasons. These are all, I think, small batchy except for this. So I went out. And I spent the 60s, I don't know, these are like $30, $40 each, I think. So 80 roughly $100, just saying for anybody who wants to become a, a, hit the join button or be a Patreon subscriber, I spent $100 to make this video for you guys and then I will not make any money back, although I did make $12 so far. We're going to blind taste these. These are the brands. These are the pours in uh, higher to lower order. We don't know what they are, but they're all about the same color. Hmm. So we don't we didn't yeah. have to use the black the glasses. The poor consistency is a little off, and I think that's our producer's fault. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's like seven ounces in here. No one asked you. Well, I'm not naming names. Yeah, you are. Little Miss Double N2N2 over there. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Ian. That's an inside joke, if yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jen starts making up words when she drinks sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Ooh, okay, yeah, I get the rightness of this. Of that, yeah. I'm well, maybe I just haven't drank in a while. I yeah, just smell every. Oh shit! Wow, it's gonna be a long night if that's how it's gonna go. That's sweet. What? Yeah, it's sweet, yeah. It, but it's sweet fire. Which, given that we're drinking out of the Nolan tasting glasses, to get the fire means it's really burning. Yeah. Well, uh, these are all like not weak. I think the weakest is probably Buffalo Trace. These are like ninety twos, ninety fours. I don't even know what this is. It's kind of good. It's rye. It is. It's a little bit rye. It's a little bit like rye. It's a little spicy. A bunch of oakiness. Lots yeah, of oak. According to the chat, I think all of them except for one is the second is rye. Oh, okay. The okay, second. so they're all going to have some rye some qualities to them. They, some musk. Yeah, except for one of them, I forget. Which what Jen doesn't know is she's got to drink the rest of what we don't drink because she <laughs> did the pours. So. You just want to hear more strange words. I do. This is. <laughs> I like the sweetness of this. And the caramely and vanilla -y flavors, mm. it's strong, which means it's going to be awesome in like a, a whiskey sour because it's going to cut right so through. So what are we looking for proofs? Larceny's 92. This is 94. I don't know what that is. This bad boy is 93. So these are all around the same. I think Buffalo Trace is a 40, uh, 80 proof, right? Mm. Probably. 45 proof. Still so it's 90 proof. So it's 90 proof. That's, that's, oh, the, yeah, those that's are the heaviest of them all. I was reading the percentage and mm. comparing them to the proofs and going, this is the weakest. That's not... Yeah, you know uh, better. That's not the <laughs> way it's going to work. <laughs> All right, this one doesn't hit the nose. No, it doesn't have as much aroma. It does have an equivalent um, burn and sweetness. That makes not me as much think rye. Of, that makes me think of Buffalo Trace right off the bat. It's, wow. got, a, it's got a slight Jim Beam quality. Just because I've had that... I've had, I have the taste of Jim Beam burned in my memory since I was 19. Mm -hmm. For obvious terrible reasons, I'm sure. <laughs> so, so that's your. But, that's, but I don't so mind. Is that it a now. good it's, thing or a bad thing? Well, it's, it was, it's okay. It's okay thing. now. It used to be a bad thing. So for me, bad day. thing was Jack Daniels. Right. Everybody's got their bad thing. Yeah. This, Ours just both happen to be in that same family of drinking. Um, this just tastes familiar, so that's why I'm thinking Buffalo Tracer off the bat. 
It's it doesn't have the, like it doesn't feel like it has a lot of that musky rye though. No, that's it's a little bit sweeter. Not maybe maybe not as oaky. No, no, it's not as oaky. It's got it's got a little bit more of a burn flavor, a little bit more ethanol flavor, I think. Yeah. On the back end, it's just got that oak. It's lighter. You know that dry oak on the back of your tongue yeah. after you've like. Yeah, like you licked a piece of wood. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's not like really strong oaky. It's just that that it texture you get on the back of your mouth. Yeah. It's warm and inviting, but that I, I like the first one thus far a little bit better because it's a little bit more like choo choo train right in your face. Woo woo! You just wanna like it just You think on the choo choo you woo wooed me today on text. <laughs> I did. I wooed a lot of people today actually. I did it to Rob and a couple people at work and then I just got pictures of uh Ric Flair. Like that's oh, what I was okay, yeah, I was yeah. like, Woo <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty fun. The, the man still lives though. Yeah. Yeah, that's did true. Did you see this he's in a commercial? Did you see that stupid commercial? The Cumbies commercial? Is it Cumbies? He's, he's in a Cumbies before. commercial. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be this. got to be that then. You know, I'm pretty disappointed with this. Are you? Yeah, because Are this is now? so exciting. Like, uh, even aroma-wise, it was more exciting. We started kind of high. we got to work into it. you got to... Right. This smells like candy. Okay. I like candy. Mm. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. But it... But it's, I don't know what kind of candy. It's not like a butterscotch bourbon or candy. Bourbon candy. It's like if you can imagine candy made of bourbon. Just sweet. Yeah, it's like a sweet cherry wood. Like uh, a little bit more balanced on like the bourbony flavors in the mm -hmm. oak. Maybe not as A little aged. more musky than the second one, not as yeah. much as the first one. Yeah, and the first one still is, seems to be overly oaked. Um, like either fresh, like cut oak, where this might be like maybe used eat. or Solera or something. What? It's a good question of the day. Question of the day! Which we can get to later, but just oh. keep, keep an eye. <laughs> Stay so, tuned! Stay tuned for the question of the day. Teaser. Teaser. Yeah. Uh, so far, the aroma of this one's the best. Mm. It's most inviting. This one's not bad, though. I like the flavor of the first one, too. The second one, like you said, it's a, ordering is important, right? So it's we, the barrel. It's like the, it it's exactly drops. what I'd expect. Which is literally it hit all those parts, but this one is more interesting. Yeah, I guess by itself, so far any of them would have been great. But yeah, like, totally. That's the thing about doing the blind tasting when you when you have the comparisons next side by side comparisons, you really notice the differences. Yeah, because you're right there trying them. Thanks for explaining. <laughs> is this happening? Oh, right now. Now that smells like. I got candy out of that one. Butterscotch or something. Yeah. More butterscotch than caramel, I think. Which I think is just the... I can't, we had this conversation, I think, at some point. What's interesting, butterscotch or caramel, and there's some additive to it. Uh, that sounds... Th this is kind of plain, yeah. as far as a whiskey. It's muted. It's not high in alcohol. Doesn't have any definitive flavor. Definitive character. No. It's still kind of burny, but it's burning way down. Like, like down in the throat. It's not bad. I mean, it's... <clears throat> it's pretty straightforward. I mean, this could be Buffalo Trace, too. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> now he has his doubts. Buffalo Trace has got to be either number one or number whatever this is. Two? <laughs> this is technically one. Yeah, and that's five. I should probably put, do that so no, I can write stuff. There's probably two. There is that's no three. five. <laughs> so maybe this is four. Five. <laughs> maybe this is four. Okay, yeah, that so looks like a four. This yeah. is three. That's a four. This is four. Oh, that's a good way to read them. This is two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is one. One, two. Oh, almost. I thought it was one, two, three, four backwards, but. Yeah. So one, I, the four, only reason one. I care about that is when I edit this, I can now go back to the beginning and write the labels under them as we. Every time I try and right. mention them, I try to put it up on the screen so people can see. So this is. They know what we're talking about. We just don't. You know what I'm saying? So. Two. One, two, four, four three. three. Four. Three, four, two, one. Um, I'm just trying to make your editing easier. He doesn't know. <laughs> I already stopped listening because I already figured it out. Um, yeah, this does have like your standard of... has all the yeah. qualities of what you smell in a bourbon. Right. Without being too... like. So sometimes you want something with a little bit of character. Sometimes you want something that just blends in, right? So I yeah. think one and four kind of would be the blend-in ones and... Two and three would be the character ones, right? No. This, the, you mean this one? Yeah. Is the, Sorry, three and two. So the yeah. first, these two are the ones that we'd probably think stand out more. Three and two. Yeah, and these guys are kind of like, I, these I think would probably work best That's in like well. a martini, not a martini, what's a? Old fashioned. 
an old fashioned, either an old fashioned or, or a Manhattan or, or or Civil War or name any of your friggin' variations. Queen sour. Yeah. Well, no, I think the whiskey sours would be better with these. Because, oh, because it's more central. Yeah, the, yeah. I think the whiskey sour is going to lose some of these, and it's just going to taste like a, a a bare bones whiskey sour, where these might have a little bit more character still cut through. Sure. At least I feel I still feel like this one has the most potency, I think. But that could have been my first sip. We'll find out very shortly as soon as we get the reveal. Okay, so this is you like number one. Yeah, I like number one. And then second place would be this one. Yep. And then uh, I guess third would be this one here. You think? Oh, maybe third. On this yeah, one. yeah, because the aroma at least there's more character in the aroma in that one. This one is almost muted. And then it's just spilled right down my shirt. That's nah. the dribble glass. This one has a more muted flavor. Yeah, this one has more muted aroma. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. You ready? All right. Can so, I can I give my I can't really I, I do you want to do your guesses? I mean you haven't had this before, right? Right. So I'm gonna have say you this, had this before. No. Okay. So I, mean, I guess I can't. Do have it. you had this before? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna put this as number one because I know Jennifer likes it. We made cocktails with it. We put this is the one that was in the book that you had uh, that got published that had uh, there was a mezcal book for the yeah. Moscow Mule drinks. Those I have no freaking idea. So any of those. Okay, so what do we got? What's this? This one is so number uh, three. Three. Three is Elijah. Oh, there you go. Really? Nice. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I just went by that. because I know it's good. Four. Four is Larceny. Okay. Oh, Larceny. Uh, after after tasting this one, I was kind of thinking it was Buffalo Trace. So, uh, two is going to be the small batch. Seventeen ninety two. Yep. Oh yep. crap. And then and one, one is, is Buffalo, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo. Yeah. Huh. So you 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 called it kind of double call it. You're like yeah. I yeah. Said well, that. well uh, having not tasted them all, this yeah, this was, I was thinking that's going to be Buffalo our, Trace. Our but then when we got back down here, I was kind of. I, yeah. I probably didn't vocalize it, so it sounds like I'm saying it after the fact. But <laughs> well, uh, I hear you. Trust saying. me. Yeah. I mean, it's harder when you've never had two of these, and, right? And we wouldn't be able to. I mean, Buffalo Trace, we've drank more than anything. Else. I didn't think Buffalo Trace was either of these. You didn't think it would be that high? Yeah. Well, I, I don't think it had like that much yeah. differentiation to it. Uh, and it's yeah, it's like twenty four ninety nine or something like that. Yeah. I think it's, it's the cheap good, bourbon. It's a good bourbon. It's yeah, it's just not bad. Not... No, I recommend this to everybody who wants to try a bourbon that's not Maker's Mark or uh, Jim Beam or Jack Daniels. I like Maker's Mark. Yeah, but, but the Maker's Mark sweet. Different. Yes. It's like yeah, that's why I like it. Yeah. Right. So this is kind of like for those that are like Which not. Kind of leads us in the question of the day. Oh, it was, it was the question way back. So, question since, of the day. Uh, May eighteenth, which is tomorrow, manana, is okay. World Whiskey Day. What's your preferred whiskey? What is so it's manana for us, but when this films, it's yeah, gonna it's like be next week. So you already before. you missed it, but you can always drink whiskey and call it your whiskey day. Yeah, because yeah. that's what we do. Tell us what your preferred whiskey is. Uh, what is your preferred whiskey? Yeah. So put it in the comments below. I would. Going. Whenever we're talking, I usually mention Eliza Craig because we use it a lot. But I wouldn't have so been able Knob to. Knob Creek, you mentioned. Knob Creek. Yes. Like Knob oh, Knob Creek, like 120. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Like I like the high proof, crazy. Like the Explosive what was flavors. That special one you got was it roses? Yeah, that's a roses. That was the one Four I wanted roses. to put in here, but it was a single barrel instead yeah, I like of that one. roses. Uh, Four roses. Yeah, four roses. There's a couple four roses ones. Some are better than others. Like the yellow, like the bottom of the line. Hmm. It's so watery and thin. So if you're going to get a whiskey, I would suggest trying to get to the U.S. dollar range, probably the middle thirties, right? It's probably, I would say that a, a quality bourbon is around the same price as a quality Reposado tequila or a yeah, Blanco I mean, Mezcal. I mean, they're very Cheap similar. Blanco in, Mezcal. Especially in the aging process and the time it takes to get there, right? Yeah. So, I mean, a good Repo tequila is, uh, well, and yeah, it was going to be over, what, three years? Yeah. Repo is going to be under three years and over six months or something like so, that. Yeah, there's... Bourbons may age a little bit longer, but I mean... They're you still get that bourbon, product. that barrel feel to both of them. The yeah, you just get a lot more barrel to like these. Like right. Elijah Craig was barrel all over the place. Like there was mm. lots of white oak, lots of flavor, lots of like tastiness, which is why we like to put it in a lot of the cocktails we do. Like, but this is game changer for me because I would have thought Buffalo Trace would have been kind of like the higher end of the stuff. But like I, this, yeah, because really? I kind of think, think it's, almost, it's almost a well now. I mean, it's not a well, like a J JD or something, or a, or a Jim Beam, but I mean, I think in it's, a craft yeah. cocktail bar, it's the well well whiskey, right? Probably. But I, it's the, it goes back to what I kind of... You don't tell I me kind what kind of, of bourbon you want, you're getting Buffalo Trace. But that's because when I originally kind of discovered real bourbon, mm -hmm. it was like Maker's Mark and Buffalo Trace. Like, and Maker's Mark was everywhere, so like Buffalo Trace was kind of like hipster, and now things have changed. 
Yeah. With me and the industry, but probably more yeah. with me. Probably. <laughs> There's yeah. like a, a higher well, quality. Changed, so that's a good thing. I just, I didn't think Elijah Craig was that kind of tasty. That varied in the We co- had to complex. use it for a cocktail we did because there was a selection you had to pick from because they were the sponsors. So you had to go with those. Montalobos, we did Montalobos and Elijah Craig because they were paid sponsors for, not us, but for the book. Crazy yeah. I don't Crazy get wolves. paid. No, no, no. Not Localobos. Montalobos. Yeah, those damn wolf mountains. <laughs> <laughs> those mountain wolves. Those friggin' wolf mountains. Um, all right, so there is your blind tasting for the month. Remember, leave your comments of what your go-to whiskey will be. Leave a comment to talk about what you think of our blind tastings and if they're valuable and if you want to see more of them. Uh, mainly because I just love comments because it helps the video rise to the top. Yeah. And uh, the blinds, the last blind video did pretty well. The reviews typically don't do as well. So. Right. People, people are like, you need what? to do more reviews. I like, used to do well as the instructions. I like doing those. Those are yeah. kind of fun sometimes. We They're almost like that. a review of, a co- of different spirits in a cocktail, yeah. though. Right. Yeah. At a cocktail level. It's kind of like another le- level of blind tasting. Right. You just got to mix them in because if you do them too often, then Yeah, people get, get burnt out. Yeah, I guess. It's, oh, and you run out of ideas for them. So if you yeah. got ideas for deconstructions where right. we take a cocktail and we try different liquors in it, There's definitely put that in it. That's something you'd like to see because that yeah, kind of goes right. along with the blinds. I feel you. Yeah. Just not too closely. It's a cousin. It's a kissing cousin of the blind tasting test. Yeah. It's the Doug. <laughs> you guys used to kiss, right? No. <laughs> Time to go. That got awkward. Sidebar, more videos. Down below is the Bartender Starter Kit at AustinRace.com, which is our store. So you should go to AustinRace.com. You should go to Recipe.AustinRace.com if you need recipe ideas and cocktails and but stuff like that. Doug texted me the other day. No! Oh! So, Was he trying to drink? Tell me, tell me all about <laughs> 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 oh, we don't. Whoa, shit, there's a glass back there. Do you want to do a lead-in for the blind tasting? No. Okay, I didn't think so. I know I always do. You want, you want some whiskey? You, you better. Try. <laughs> oh, this heavy poor hands over there. Larceny. Larceny? In the 1792. Oh. Mm. So, should we bother with any Going of these? out, we'll drink some unicorn jizz. All right. And think of <laughs> us. Who's the unicorn in the group? That's what I want to know. That's different. Henry McKenna, I've heard like that that got rated really high. Someone, someone mentioned the Henry McKenna ten year uh, bottle, bottle, bonded bottle. Um, that got rated really high in some magazine recently. Kazoo's uh, guy guy at work showed me. He, he, he reads magazines. He, he's he's big into wine and scotch and but all he, things connoisseur. Right, but I, it was an online article. So oh okay. I like wow. online magazine. Yeah. Online magazine. That's sorry. Different. Derek that's we like, just hung up on the That's back. like that's like pull, pull out my phone and say, Hey, let me play your record. Yeah. Hey! yeah. <laughs> He's got records. I know. That's why I gotta use that. <laughs> I got a new Weezer Teal album today. Did you see my Instagram post? Well yes, I did. You're on Instagram. Hang New Hampshire Mar to get some stuff. Just enough to see it. Yeah, I don't do anything. I just kinda <laughs> creep. Get some stock. Well all this was bought in New Hampshire, so it's well, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to the New Hampshire liquor store because it's... That's where I am. It's free. And they don't give me any options. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Better than the rest. But he can stock up on stuff because... Mm -hmm. Is Dan coming tonight? No. No. Oh, okay. He is in, uh... The Berkshires. The Berkshires. He's on his way to the Berkshires. Because... And I still have Montalobos that you bought him. It's in my bag. I'm like, hey, I was unpacking my bag and I found Montalobos. He's like, I knew you had it. Just happened. (laughs) Yeah, I think I agree. I think I like Elijah the best. Larceny is pretty good, though. I don't know if I like this one better than Larceny. Really? But this did better. Well, maybe good in a different cocktail. So, you know, like we did the rum and coke deconstruction, right? The the various of rum and coke. Yeah, yeah, something that's simple. So you never know what it's going to mix well with. Right. You don't. Steven's got to email me that, not in the chat, because it scrolls by and it'll be gone. So... Yeah, I might like the 1972 better. Or you might. Or or when are you going to know? Where did you, did you, yo, oh, yeah, good. What? Yep. <laughs> Lots of happenings there, but I don't, <laughs> know, I don't know what they are. The juices. Oh, this bell is I know what I'm thinking. You don't have to know. Well, I so do. I, I, I think what I was I thinking? Smith gin. We got to remember we have gin back here. They're defrosting. Oh, good. Yes, they are defrosting. <laughs> like, yeah, we well. keep... But they are not defrosted. Liquor 43 is unicorn kiss. That is good. That's <laughs> Wait, when you say that is good, are you saying, well, since unicorn kiss is, it must be comparable. 
This that's eleven, right? In this little bottle. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Um. So. Jude. Jude. If we finish early. Has unicorn juice. Yeah. Now I love it all. Your fault. If we finish early, maybe we could taste some of these Azios. I got like, I got vodka distilled from grapes. I got vodka distilled from whatever vodka comes from he apples. Loves college drinks. I got black Love black Seven label brandy. Silver rum. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. Uh, so we have a lot of samples of rum here or of whiskey here now. You want to set up the no, camera? I just got to sip on it. I drink them. You want to set my camera ups? What do we need for this? Rum, 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 Panamanian rum. and Caribbean. Caribbean is Caribbean. Caribbean is generic, isn't it? Yeah. That's like, it's from an it's island. It's all Caribbean, Panama? isn't it? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. It's getting low. I uh, know, and, and my Maybe rep it, doesn't work there it, anymore. So. You gotta get a hold of it. Oh, Warren? He's the, no, uh, well, Warren's gone. Wait, so the dole is where it, it yeah. should be focused on? Yeah. And then the rep that Spain. used to do it is gone. What do you need? Uh, which one is this? You have Panamanian. Caribbean. Caribbean. Where's Caribbean? Jamaica. I don't, I don't think Jamaican is the right route. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to go with the uh, original. What, you, what age? Caribbean aged rum and light rum. So this is kind of a... Okay, so Caribbean aged rum. That's How old be. is this? This can't be that old, right? That's a... Uh, Hold on. It's going off. Let's see. No, this is good. We want this. Yeah, that is good. Um, I don't think you want navy string. Baden rum. Uh, I don't need that. How about, how about this? How do we do? Don said drive them over to Mimi's. What? Yeah, okay. Don said drive them over to Mimi's. They'll drink them. What? All the, the vodkas? <laughs> no, the, 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 oh, the, the whiskeys. The, yeah. Barbados, uh, aged. Is Don in there? Or is he texting you? Uh, he's, he's yes. texting, but he's in the chat. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're probably What's like, up, Don? You're probably like, what's this all about, right? Oh, it uses both. Okay, oh. so this is regular and this is cinnamon. Mm -hmm. We need both. Sweet. Tropical fruits. I don't really have any of those. Let me go get some ice. Oh yeah, there's some ice in there. You, if you want, you could use the bag of ice that's in there that we probably bag of ice, bag of have ice. to hammer on the ground bag of ice. and then use it. Bag of weed for family. Bag of weed, a bag of weed. Everything is better with a bag of weed. You know what I'm gonna do for Ian? <laughs> wow. That's pretty violent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Wow. If our house falls down, that's your fault. Don't break our house, Ian. I don't know. Ian, you're having way too much fun. Well, I got it at some point. <laughs> you make your own fun sometimes. <laughs> yeah. The heck was that? Did you just hit that camera? <laughs> She's been place. setting that camera up for like 20 minutes. It's I don't okay. know why. I'll go back over there and nudge it again in a minute. <laughs> How hard? I mean, what's the problem? Is it too small? Like, do you have enough space up here for when we put a glass? Ooh, what do we even have? I got crushed ice. Pour into a shaker. Shake it straight into a put the frick. Paul fills in the glass. Bag of ice! Ah! Scarf with salad and fruits. Yeah, I think this is the one that I had. Is that what those little shoots are for? Yeah. You're gonna tropical shoots. Tropical shoots. Tropical shoots. Shoots and ladders? Tropical shoots. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this works. Heads up. No. no. <laughs> Didn't work. Maybe it'll work this time. Bye, Peggy, if you're still there. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> behind the couch now. <laughs> Trade. You want to go drive them the whiskey for the pizza, Ian? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I ate some wings on the way over here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't want to play delivery boy, but I don't want to eat your food.
Too fat for that. I go upstairs to get this glass, and Liam's like, What are you doing down there? I'm like, I'm doing a show. He's like, No! What was all that noise? I'm like, Oh, that was Ian slamming ice against the pole. Yeah. He's like, ice. Oh. He's like, It was like shaking the house. Yeah. Wow, that coming from the people who usually shake the house yeah. while we're down here. By walking. Right. <laughs> you uh, think this... Oh, we have a class. Okay. How's this going to... You think we have to reset this? Really? <laughs> you want me to come kick the camera so <laughs> it feels better? It's, I feel like it's going to be too big. I don't know, is this glass too big? Yes. That's... This is way too big, isn't it? Top with crushed ice, so I mean it's only... The ice is pretty That's crushed a lot at this point. A bag of ice, the shit out of a bag of ice. <laughs> yeah, I know, but this it, the drink total is two, yeah. uh, three and a half, four and a quarter, five and a half. Five and a half ounces, and that's got to be so a twelve, like right? <laughs> Why don't you just use? Right. Should we just you use this? You need to be and, shot uh, up at an angle if you want that whole I think glass. Think a Collins there. glass is probably a good idea. Yeah, let's, I I worked really let's hard to set up for the Collins glass, and we'll swap that out and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> It still had an angle with that. Class. She gets paid the well, same no matter what, I guess. How's it at an angle? Oh, yeah, because you have it at an angle. To get the glass in there, it's going up. Either that, you can make this taller. Well, you could also do this with the thing and it zooms out, right? Yeah, but then you're going to end up like getting the light in there. Oh. Well, yeah, whatever. As long as the whole thing is in frame. It's in the frame, and then it just went away. <laughs> there is, there is going to be a topping to it. What? Tropical roots. Yeah. Uh, Trouble shoots. Oh. oh, by the way, I put water in there. I was, good. Gonna, I was gonna wait to tell you until after. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I wanted to like br suck it in, so it was like right, right, right. That's healthy. A, that's a good idea. <laughs> What's up with this glass? It's upside down here. Yeah, I know. It's it was in there already. Okay. Yeah. That didn't I didn't seem like it was worth moving. Stopped the last episode, so. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was like worth it. Yeah. Is that that's camera going too? <laughs> Double the recipe. Just Thanks. saying. No, I didn't know about that camera. If we, if we double the recipe, that means Jen gets to drink more. <laughs> Should we double the recipe? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we get more strange words. <laughs> double on to M2s. We're not going to double the recipe. They don't have to. I'm just there for you. No, I know you're there. I have to blow your candle out to make mine look brighter. That's all. <laughs> That's how I roll. Zach, this going? Yes. Hey, is that too low? Not right. Oh, that you mean that? I just meant in general. Oh, okay. I, I thought mean, you meant is the camera position too low? Is it? No, I think it's fine. I was just gonna. Like, yeah, but do you. But want I'm to... not gonna. No, that's fine. I'll do the. Blah, blah, blah. And you have like. Space blah, 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 blah. Yeah, screw it. Here. You sure? Yeah. We'll put this in the foreground. Huh? Yeah. What's going on? Right so. We're just doing the deal. Here we go. Doing the do. Ready? Uh, what are we making? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's wing it. Uh, the White Walker. This is a zombie riff. I figured it was going to Oh, happen. wait. What? It's a, it's a zombie riff with no absinthe in it? Right. Bullshit. Riff. riff. Bullshit. It's a, it's a it's take on. It's not a zombie. Yeah. It's like... Can't be a riff without a, it's like know, a major component. Sure. It's like rum. It's like, oh, I did a riff on Led Zeppelin. I called it Pink Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing. That's a band, though. That's not a song. Oh, I'm thinking riff song, whatever. <laughs> anyway, okay, all right. Let's, go. Well, let's make a drink. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. Derek and Ian. That's Ian. We're yeah. gonna make a riff on the zombie called the White Walker. So while it is a riff on the zombie, Here we go. it does not actually contain any absinthe. Nor does it contain anything in a zombie, outside of the fact that it has rum, juices, it's cinnamon, cinnamon, simple cinnamon syrup. So it's really similar. Well, I think if correct me if I'm wrong here, but does a zombie typically have Don's mix? I don't remember. Yeah, I just remember that. So I'm that just a hard time. <laughs> there is absinthe. Just take it out of the Because every time we do it, we always overpour the absinthe, right? So that's how we know. Well, no, we've gotten better. Like yeah, I know we've only done it like what? Eight I know how times. to do the six drops of yeah. absinthe now. So. so this recipe was submitted by John Spice. I'm gonna break down the recipe for you. It's called uh, one and a half ounces of Caribbean light rum, half ounce of Panamanian rum. Uh, an ounce and a half of pineapple juice, three quarters ounce of fresh lemon juice, three quarters ounce of simple syrup, uh, cinnamon simple syrup, half ounce of regular simple syrup, garnished with tropical fruits. You're gonna pour all of this into a shaker with ice, shake it straight into a tall Pilsner's glass. So this is a tall Pilsner's glass. The problem is if you if if you use this glass, which is no doubt 12 to 16 ounces, 
Yeah. You're needing to make two or three of these in a drink, which is fine for most people, but this is a show. And this will kill you. Yeah, like, and we're, we don't like all our drinks, despite the fact that everybody thinks we're drunk on the first episode. Right. We're never drunk at the show. Mm. And there's a reason, because we're not... No, you know, we shouldn't tell show. people that. We're ruining the, uh, yes, the impression. Yes, Don's mix in the original coffee. See? See? See what I did there? Also, this is not based on a Game of Thrones theme, even though it's called White Walker, and I'm doing it because I want to get some of the Game of Thrones juice, search juice. Uh, it's really kind of more... Uh, it was created by Dan Rook at Southern Water Kitchen in Chicago, and I believe it was like an October time frame drink, like, uh, like uh, what's that, Halloween? But to me, it- yeah, this is not to me a Halloween drink. Like, even though you called it a zombie and it sounds like a zombie type thing, I'm not a zombie drinker in October, and spirit trends are with me on that. Like, people don't request, ru- like, crazy rum, fruity drinks in, in fall, October. So they should drink tiki all year round, though. Fair, but even even but I sometimes don't. urine the the just... occasional bourbon drink or something. Bourbon, like bourbon. if you made this with bourbon, fine, get it. But if you made it with bourbon and absinthe, fine. It's like a Sazerac zombie. So apparently there is a White Walker cocktail. And I know that's right. And there's a White Walker. And this... it's based on Johnny Walker White. <laughs> Oh, what yeah, Johnny that? Walker Bob. White? Isn't that like... I don't actually know what level that is. I know well, Johnny Walker, Red White is Walker. low. It's, yeah, which is Johnny a... Walker, White Walker. Oh, that's just the Game of Thrones theme, Johnny Walker. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's that's just... That's stupid. Like this, I'm, I'm guessing that Dan created this drink because he wanted a good drink. Not because he wanted to trademark a fucking marketing thing. Okay, you gonna... <laughs> there we go. Hey, I'm on camera, are. Derek. Look there at me. Are. Paying attention to the uh, hardware over here. Too bad it wasn't 60 frames a second so I could see it in like full strokey motion. What are you doing? I'm doing slow mo so you don't have to worry about 60 frames per uh, second. Like, <laughs> fair. Then, uh, That's yeah. weird. Yeah, well. But it happened. It is what it is. Um, so we're straining this. Oh, we need crushed ice on the top, right? Is that the deal? Yeah, I don't know if we need to uh, strain this since we're top. crushed icing it this anyway, yeah, right? Probably not. So I'm just pouring. Didn't I? I brought down some pineapple chunks. Whatever happened to those? I'm making an executive decision here. But yeah. where are my pineapple chunks? You put, brought pineapple chunks? Ian, you're taking control. What's going on? Yeah, what are you doing? I gotta get, I gotta stop doing that. So you took control. <laughs> I don't know where my pineapple chunks went. I don't think that's ever really worked out for me. So I'm gonna let me. You're gonna stop doing. Let me that. stop doing that. Do we want to use both of these things? Oh yeah, I got them there. Okay. Um, typically you would add more fruit to it, like uh, pineapple chunks. I don't know where those went. Did you bring them down. I don't remember you bringing them down. To be honest with you. I I was flipping them. I was I had them in my hand. Hmm. And then I think I get distracted. Well, let's look, and then you can jump cut. Can I oh, place them? Can? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. They're just the dead. Yeah, no, they weren't out of the can. No. Well, I thought they were. I thought they were, and I'm like, you should probably. We'll, we'll find them, them like. Go bad, and it's gonna be. We'll find them like ten episodes, but yeah, this does this flat. look good on the camera? You can see everything. Boom. Yeah. Perfect. What's um, in your pocket? The pineapple chunks. <laughs> You're gonna put them in the fridge or something, did you? No. I don't we're gonna know find them in the fridge. Oh well. Okay. Um, I w- you know, like I was thinking pineapple. Well, that's um, disappointing. Cherries <laughs> and stuff like that as tropical oh, fruit. We could throw a cherry in there. But we yeah, but we're already here. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm not the Fonz. I'm not jumping to, any shots. We don't have to go back home after we got to the airport just for a toothbrush. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's, a, that's an equivalent. I'm too that's fat a, for that, Mark. I did not eat the pineapple chunks. I don't need that. <laughs> I think there's a theme that it, Ian's just too fat for everything. Too yeah. fat for eating, too fat for biking, yeah. too fat. <laughs> I'm going to go hiking next month, though, so. Well, there you go. We'll see what happens. Where? Uh, Zion National Park. Where is that? Utah. Oh, nice. It's pretty good. Going to Utah to hike? Mm, like That's this. a lot of walking. That's good. <laughs> it is, actually. Oh, it's well See, that doesn't make you think October, though, does it? No, that makes me think summer, summer man. Mm-hmm. Beach drink. It's rum and pineapple juice. Mm. It really can't go wrong. It's, yeah. it's rum. It's, it's not as sweet. It's a basic combination for deliciousness. Right. It's like putting liquor 43 in something or orange juice and yeah. orange juice. Yeah. 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 You don't get too, too much cinnamon because they balance it off probably on purpose. Mm. You get the pineapple, you get the lemon, and that works okay. You're still looking for the pineapple. Oh. Yep. Get some pineapple. It's not the same thing. <laughs> there, tropical fruits. 
<laughs> tropical fruit. Uh, <laughs> you, and so one of the side notes I wanted to mention is from a rum perspective, you could get Mount Gay. That's not a problem. You might be able to get Maison, Panama. The recipe calls for Caribbean age rum and Panamanian rum. Don't, like, not Look make crazy. this cocktail because yeah. you don't have it from that con. So, so what I I'll think it say, add, it probably adds something to the cocktail. Like the Panamanian rum has a distinct flavor, right? Okay, Maison. It's very Maison is very good on the Panamanian. I if you don't have here's what I'm gonna here's my executive decision because I tried this. I think did I try this? At no. Some point, maybe not. Tonight. It's got a little bit of a funk to it, but I yeah. think I think if you wanted to use like a Appleton Reserve or a Jamaican rum. Um, not like, what's that bad Jamaican rum, the black one there? You know, like the, uh... Um, Myers's? Myers. Yeah. Something that's not so dark, but like, like, just a simple Jamaican rum. Maybe Smith and Cross, mm. that might work in there. It's Jamaican rum. With Mount Gay, or something from Barbados, or, um, I would go with something that's not from Cuba. Uh, not Cuba. Um, not from Puerto Rico. Because Puerto Rican rum tends yeah. to be a little lighter. Right. And this drink's going to need so character. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to taste like pineapple juice. Mm. So I would go with I think the cinnamon has some of the character. The cinnamon lemon is probably a decent character additive. To yes, this drink. I, I agree. And it's, uh, we also use turbinado sugar instead of regular simple syrup, so it's not maybe as sharp, it's a little richer. Plus, uh, it's really fun to say turbinado. It is, <laughs> right? Yeah. Put that there. Turbinado sugar. See? Which fun. is just a, what is it, not wash... Uh, it hasn't gone through that extra step. Yeah, it, so it's still got molasses flavors in it. Um, oh, there's my brandy. Oh, interesting. Uh, behind my Terminato sugar is where I keep my Martin VS Fine Cognac. Good to know. I won't remember that. looking for it. Yeah. Uh, but the drink has a good balance, a good sour. It's not overly super sweet, which is nice, considering pineapple juice is a little sweeter. But that lemon juice really plays pretty well. Yeah. And I was a little afraid because, to me, those are usually lime. Right. But right, the right. lemon worked here. And it does. And that's, that makes me happy. Uh, I, I can see the aura of your inner child smiling right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is, if quite honestly, this drink right here, if I go, we'll probably have to use this at one of our pool parties come summertime. Yeah. And I will be probably, my personal opinion, that crushed ice in a, like a, what is that little spinny thing I have over there? Blender? Yeah, but it's not a blender. Bullet? It's like the immersion blender. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. With an immersion blender, you do three times the amount of the ingredients. You build a big batch of this immersion blender. That I was going to say, you, you batch this up. Yeah, you pass it out. Maybe dilute it with a little bit more crushed ice. It's going to be yeah. warmer. You put this and this together, then you add your juices yeah. when you're ready to make it, and boom. And then you got you get big boom. batches. You're at poolside. People aren't going to get too drunk. Yeah. They might. Yeah, the, it's going to go quick. I say three of these. There's a couple ounces of booze in here. Yeah, three of these is probably a good limit for for the hour, <laughs> but definitely would suggest giving that a try. Just dump it up to a higher higher amount of uh, volumes. If you used recipe.awesomegrace.com, I have a serving size drop down, so they can say ten. Boom! And, and it does the multiplication the for you. Yep, and you know what? Multiplication in ounces, in milliliters, and silliliters. So fuck that. It does all yeah, the shit. Silliliters? Yeah, I, would, I always say that. So. <laughs> How do you say that? They're so funny. Centiliters. Those, those silly liters. Silly liters, <laughs> centiliters. I just like this. See, I spread it around, Jen. <laughs> I've been saying silly liters for years, and everybody always comments, and I never figure it out. I never change it. Decimal. Cent. Uh, deca. Deca. Centa. Exliter. Uh, yeah, there's. <laughs> Centiliter. <laughs> See, even Mark's making fun of you. <laughs> yeah! yeah silly liters. Stupid American! Boom! And actually, you're going to tell me I'm like. Some stupid American. There's a meme somewhere that somebody's going to silly liter you. <laughs> I probably already got one. <laughs> no, I'm a silly liter. It's going to be a liter of cola with a silly face on it. Yeah. Get poured on you. There you go. I'm like a, I'm a Derek Kubelibre. Yeah. Silly right. liters of Wrap coke. Up. Wrapping it up right now. Right. Oh, use spring 90. Producer, keep us on point. <laughs> Save 15% at austerace.com. When you buy your bitters and all the other stuff you're going to need, syrups, mm. bartender starter kits, and all that good stuff. Remember, Spring 19 is your way. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Um, on the sidebar, you're going to find some videos. You want I, some of this, time? I think it's <laughs> spring and summer cocktails. <laughs> tiki time um, will be what we'll end up throwing in there. So check out all the videos. We've done a weeks of Tiki in the past. Tiki Wiki. Tiki Wiki. That's it! Tish and I Today we're making a riff on the zombie, if you believe that. That's pretty damn delicious. So stay tuned and uh, watch us be stupid. 
<laughs> on point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's how I tell everybody. Like, I, we're just, when I'm we're trying to explain the show, I'm, we're just a couple stupid guys making drinks. <laughs> yeah. And being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but but then it sets up the perfect oh, expectation. Expectations. Yeah, I don't want to say, oh, we're critiquing well, drinks, we're giving valid reviews and on point uh, commentary right. about the state of the liquor. Uh, we give valid point. reviews. The rest is not always on point. Yeah, like our reviews are not junk. It's no. just our no. mouth. Not at all. Sometimes it says junk. All right. So how do I? I'm gonna. Let me shut this. You already shut it off. Mm -hmm. Shut this one off. So what's your problem now there with our Ian? With our beer, I guess? I know I'm only a rinser, but uh, I'm going to get these things. You can drain that. Drain it. It should be I, I think did the, you see this? I put this here. Look at this. Isn't this great? You did. It's good. It's great. Now we just need one for the line. Ooh. It's been tabulous, my friend. What did you do? Breaking shit? Oh. Not yet. Give me, give me time. You know I will over a long enough span. Break something. Oh, i got to get more shit. Um, fresh lime juice. We're going to need a fresh lime juice. Why not? Because it's supposed to have tropical fruit. I had, it was supposed to have pineapples with it. Did you find them? No! Are they upstairs? I don't know. I gotta get the old one up there. So Look for some pineapple chunks while you're there. I'm good. Just want, you know what? I want to complete the mystery. I want to find out what happened. Okay, Scooby. What's that? I said, okay, Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you. Dang kids. Damn kids. People don't say that enough these days. I would have gotten away with two for you fucking kids. <laughs> I don't think that was the line. Yeah, I improvise in my head. <laughs> I drink <it> was horrible. <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you had to get rid of it. Yeah. Couldn't even stand to look at it. <laughs> story is. Oh, there's a story? Yeah. So I was trying to get this freaking Pilsner glass, right? There's the that. problem with the Pilsner glass is it was behind... That must have still. It was behind three more glasses. <laughs> so I had to dig it out, right? Okay. So, so without breaking it. So I put the stupid pineapple chunks down to go get this out without breaking the rest of my glasses. So they were upstairs? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next to the coffee maker. Great story. Felt like I was there. <laughs> I would hope so. I kind of am. We're only a few inches okay, away. So yeah, I got that reference. What? Great story. Felt like I was there. What's that reference from? Ted. Oh. <laughs> I've seen enough Ted to know that, but why? I haven't watched. Not Ted thing. talks. Ted the movie with the bear. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen. I haven't Never seen mind, Ted the talks. <laughs> you haven't seen Ted talks. I love Dill Weed looking. I don't think I've ever watched a TED Talk. Maybe no. You haven't? I haven't watched a whole TED Talk because they take too long. I mean, they talk about everything. They do. There's a TED Talk for, oh, you know, tell your grandmother to Asian slavers. There's a TED Talk. What? Really? No, did you do that on purpose or you just randomly picked it? I just randomly picked it. Really? Yeah, why? Bombay East. It's called the East India Gimlet. Well, look at that. <laughs> like maybe I did plan that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I'm just playing coy. Bombay East is a little different though. Yeah, it's awesome. It's good. How different is it? Awesome. It's peppery. Just a little different, not that different. We need dill weed for this? Yeah. Pinch of dill. It's still gin. That what we get there for? It? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to drop it again just to really get you. Get Chicken and rice. Choku. Chicken and rice? Chicken strain, chill coop. Oh. Chicken rice. I mean, we need a coop. It's in the glass. Then we're gonna put this in. Here, let me get it. Never mind. Let me get it. I got it. <laughs> Slow down. I got it. I got it covered, buddy. <laughs> Two and a half. Stop trying this so hard. This will be good. This will be good. <laughs> it's It'll okay. Start. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, once Ian gets his shit together. Oh, I almost, I almost, I pulled back because it was a tiger tag? shot. Yeah, yeah you're gonna tag me right there. That would not have been too cool. Man. There's a lot of dill here just for this garnish. I'm just saying. It's a lot of. It's baby. I girl. probably paid five dollars for this. I hope you can find another use for it. I have absolutely nothing to do with this. This actually sounds like it could be pretty good. So we got lemon dry, simple lime, dill, bitters, dill weed, dill. Dill and dill weed are the same thing. Dill weed. Right? It smells nice. It 
celery bitters. Let's chop this bitch. Ready? Alright. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Does she hit working backwards on the camera? Yep. There we go. That's a good spot. Eh. 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 That's a good He's spot. He's still getting his shit together, Todd. Pound the pineapple. <laughs> That's right. If you, want, if you want to wait for me to get my shit together, I will go take a shit. Together? By myself. <laughs> That's good, because I don't have to go. No, no. You, you don't have to go or you don't want to go? No, I don't have to. With me? Or at all? At, at all. <laughs> okay, yeah. Either way is bad. It's good. <laughs> but, I, but thanks for re-asking the same thing when it didn't matter what the answer was. Yeah. 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 I just want to explain it. <laughs> Welcome to Combat Cocktails. Ian and Derek for today are going to make the East... What, what the fuck? We're going to make the East India Gimlet. This is like a gimlet from East India. And I'm going to tell you some differences right now. So first off, we're going to use Bombay East. Um, I'm going to let Ian pour the recipe. Then I'll throw the card on top for you guys so you can see this happening without the card of all the recipes on top. But this was submitted by John Spikes. Uh, oh, our executive producer, which I think I missed yesterday, was Andrew P. I will get my other executive producer in a minute from the end of this. Um, it's developed by Carl Brown. It's a twist on the traditional gimlet. John submitted this, but he said with modifications. I want to look at the original recipe from Carl Brown, and he used Rose's Lime Cordial. And that is because Rose's Lime Cordial is what makes a traditional original gimlet, which is sad because... Fresh it's lime juice. Lime syrup, basically. Yeah, it's it's so much better with this, but I get it. Like, it's the original. So, the recipe that Ian is building, which is going to be a shake, a pour all ingredients into a shaker with ice, and pour into a chilled coop, is going to be... <clears throat> is this a pinch? Yep. One pinch of dill. Is that enough? That's a good pinch. Yeah, sure. Well, you can add more dill if you really want to. Um, it's going to be a pinch of dill. It's going to be two dashes of celery bitters. One and a half ounces of lemon dried gin, three quarters ounce of fresh lime juice, three quarters ounce of simple syrup. Uh, you're going to garnish with a dill sprig. So I went and spent five or six dollars to buy a bag of dill just so I could have a sprig. So maybe we got to find a good one. That's a, that's a dill forest. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that dill. That one? That's a good pick of the sprig. I can, should, I, what else can I do with this dill? Make pickles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make pickles. Make, or you can do like dill... Uh, yeah, but you don't do fish, do you? No, but I, I, pickles for I usually use pickling dill pickle stuff. Should I break the stem? Oh, well, well, long. Well, it's good. You think it'll do, hang out? Do what you want to do. Break you know, stem. it's your show. Do whatever you want to do. Um, we we went a couple week at, weeks ago. Dan, and, uh, Jalitha, me, and Jennifer went to this bar, and he got a drink. Oh, look, you can see the little dill floating yeah. on top. Got a drink that had. Dill, remember? Jennifer had the sprig of dill in there, and we yeah. weren't sure what it was, and we had to ask. Sprig of dill, you. I think we asked, or we looked at no, the menu. No, I asked because she got the drink. Oh, yeah, so, so she knew what it was. I was uh, so like, it's dill. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And it was a good drink. So now we have two good drinks with dill. Does that look good on the camera? Oh, I really, really want a photo of this, though, because, like, you guys have to see this. I'll see if I can put it inside of the, the uh, final shot, because the... That design just looks perfect. Like it's got little dill sprigs. Hey Jennifer, does that mm -hmm. fit on the? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Producer's producing. Let her produce over there. I'm, I just want to make sure it's got a little in the. It's still. It looks kind of like. Wow. So he's off camera, and I'm gonna. Uh... <laughs> gonna oh, good. Dance. He's back. I don't have to dance. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just, this is good. I was. I, I'm excited about I like how it. it looked. It looks very good. It's got a good flavor to it, too. Because the dill and the celery work really well together. Oh, you can taste celery. So, use coupon code SPRING19 at AustinRakes.com. Spring, Save not sprig. <laughs> True. Okay. Uh, spring, I have a little stuff here. Yeah. Spring19 to save 15% until June 30th. You can no. get yourself some Scrappy's Bitters Celery. We were talking sprigs, so I didn't want it to be confusing. I can see that, even though it does slide up on the screen. But that's oh. just to reinforce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what if somebody's blind watching this? Listening to this. Because <laughs> they're fans of our voices. Yeah. And I feel bad for them. Mm. <laughs> the Iron Throne. Th two thirds vodka, two thirds cream, two thirds triple sec, two thirds creme de cacao, blood orange garnish. Burn them all. Mm. Um, hmm. 
The, I'm having a hard time picturing that one. The, this yeah. is good. Two thirds. Let me tasty. tell you something about two thirds. Fuck that. Yeah. Just saying. How about one, 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 one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, what yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Equal I'm thinking parts. fucking round in some fucking yeah, direction. Yeah. <laughs> two thirds is a bullshit measurement. Unless right. it's in milliliters or silliliters. I think we're all right. We're in braille on our shirts. You just yeah. can't feel it. I feel it. Yeah. Oh, wait. I can see it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for those that are like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, yeah. Good point. Let's let people in. This has both the dill flavor and the celery play together. It's delicious. There was a comment in the chat that says we should wear braille on our shirts. That's what I'm laying them in on. Yeah. Okay, now Live talk streams about the drink. happen every yeah. month. <laughs> um, and quite honestly, they're here right now watching right. us, so we like to give them attention. Everybody like else, yeah. you guys, unless you're paying us. You know what? If you want to join in on the live stream, what do you do, Derek? You follow you on Facebook. Right. I you follow you on me. Instagram. Right. You follow you on Twitter. You if you actually I think Snapchat. If you subscribe Anything and then else? you click Foursquare, the... MySpace, <laughs> MySpace, LinkedIn. Tom is your friend. Tom is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if you hit the subscribe button, there's usually an email notification. I believe, in my live stream, could probably tell me since they seem to join randomly at the right time. That it reminds you by sending an email. YouTube. Whenever yeah, and your show comes out. It's good. good thing yeah, you should YouTube, follow me on YouTube. Follow me on YouTube because that's where you're probably are, aren't you? <laughs> Um, Four so, chan. <laughs> three, two, I don't know. Yeah, there's lots of chans out yeah, there. Yeah, don't go there. Um, IRC, if you're an old MIRC. Discord. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Discord. This yeah. drink. This drink. Yeah, this drink strikes the right chord. I think it's good. It's a good spring drink. It's got it's got both the dill <laughs> and it's You stumble got, over words, I dance with them. <laughs> it's got the celery, which is... How many dashes of this is there? Two. Two? It's so strong for just the two. Dose. It's like boom, boom, dashes. boom. You get celery. Well, right a dash up is like it's one. It's milliliter. not a drop. It's a it's a, a one milliliter. Yeah. It's yeah. A, that's one ml. That much. That's one milliliter. Is that a milliliter? It is. Two. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, it tastes like a milliliter. Tastes like a milliliter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So again, Osbury's not off for Scrappy's bitters. <laughs> just don't drink it straight. There. Bitters are an additive. They're delicious. It's like just salt and pepper. You also mm. don't drink salt and pepper straight. You usually can well, bring it to something else. There's a time place for everything. <laughs> there is. <laughs> what you just did was the right time. Um, just not a real smart move. I'm subscribed and I get a pop-up notification when you go live, says Drew. A pop-up notification? What if you're not on the website? Like, what's the Do you get a up? phone? I mean, you can probably configure your notifications to push your phone or whatever. I'll yeah, there's also so. phone services, but I don't do that because I don't have enough money to do that. Justify to justify that, yeah. Just pay attention. Yeah. So, <laughs> Ian accidentally picked Bombay or Sapphire East. Was it on purpose? <laughs> is his subconscious. We don't know. Bombay Sapphire East. For the East India Gimlet. It's a, it makes sense, right? It's a, it doesn't require, you don't need... You don't need this brand to make this drink. You need gin. It has four more botanicals than the original one. It has Bombay. four more botanicals. Four more botanicals? About ten more dollars. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that's like 250 a botanical. That's not too bad. No, <laughs> I, I don't really know if that's the right price, but I like this better than the original Bombay. It's a little black peppery. It's just some spice and interesting it notes to Vietnamese it. Vietnamese black pepper. Oh, Vietnamese black pepper. That's what I taste in there. <laughs> I, I like that. In all honesty, I'm a big fan of pepper. I put pepper on everything. Yeah. I got. I, we went out for a, a company or a group lunch yeah. on Tuesday. I got the steak au poivre. It just has peppercorns yeah. on top. Uh, I yeah. love it. Pepper's awesome. It's it, spicy. Mm, Liquors from China. So good. Juniper berries from Italy. Jesus. Those are curated. Jesus from Morocco. Oh, um, cash. <laughs> so, definitely, a, this is a good drink for this time, especially to kind of... You know that drink we just did last week, the zombie or the white walker, where it's like that's a poolside drink. This oh, is yeah, like a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, last week. This maybe. is like a a drink that starts or finishes after that. So you've had those drinks. This is like a good starter drink, I think. I think this is like a palate. This is before you get type. to. The, yeah, like. Yeah. This is maybe before you you go out for drinks before you hit the pool. Hmm. Because you want to enjoy the flavor of this. Right. And appreciate the botanicals. Right. So, or dinner. you've had a bunch of drinks and you're, the pool, it's cold, the mosquitoes are coming out, so you're inside now and you're mm. like, I need a drink to kind of like wind down. Boom! Still spring, you know, still fitting. It's a drink for all occasions. Wedding. I say cold and mosquitoes are coming out. Those two things don't happen together. Did I say cold? Well, it's not hot because the sun went down. So whatever that is. It's cooling. Yeah. Cooling. cooling. <laughs> You're not going in the pool because, I don't know, reasons. 
It's dark. You can't see in the water. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. Question of the day. We haven't done questions of the day for a while. Uh, what? Do you have a favorite gin? Do you have a favorite gin? Mm. Um, I don't think we've asked that one before. We, we, we haven't done questions today in like a year and a half. So ours, oddly enough, the one we use a lot of is Beef Eater. Oh, and we hated that to begin with. We time. hated this for a while, but we drink a lot you of learned. this now. We, uh, we also did right. like Vita, and we almost finished off a bottle of Vita last just feels week, wrong so. to me, but that's whatever. It's not, that's you, you guys, wanna, not me. Because you want me to say best of words. Bulldog <laughs> is another good one. We like this dry town. Um, oh, New Amsterdam is a solid... New yeah, Amsterdam. Cheap gym. New Amsterdam. Sip Smith. Solid cheap gin. Um, Which is your favorite? That other one that's not a real. It's a, um, Hendrix. No, the one that we really that you really Brockman's. Like too. Yeah. Yeah, Brockman's. Brockman's. You can get that in New Hampshire State Liquor Store. Then. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry. It's a berry or SIE infused gin. Yeah, you can't really yeah. substitute it uh, with a. No, it's it, it goes good in like an aviation or something. There's, yeah. Brockman's. Maybe something like that. There's a lot of good stuff out there. I mean, an old Tom is good. A good old Tom gin. Uh, some Tom Cat from Bar Hill. Boom! I know I saw one around here somewhere. That's right! I'm on the game! <laughs> it's real. I'm like pineapple chunks. <laughs> Henderson's, Hendrix always good, yeah. Hendrix, a little bit expensive, but we got that around here. Love bug season? What the heck is a love bug? Love bugs. Those are probably uh, ladybugs. That's Derek. That's, no, that's like fall. He says it's pretty gross. That's so. Derek when he drinks it too many, too many uh, <laughs> gin drinks. There you go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> the love bug. Oh. Kind of gross. I, just... <laughs> <laughs> I was all, I was like, oh, I'm the love bug. Okay, oh, that, I'll go with that's that. That's really nice. And then the dot, 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 dot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what's going on. I'm just here to support your ego. That's yeah. all. I'm just here to make you feel good about it. Like, you. here's your ego. It's like you're throwing it up in the air right away you hit it with the wiffle bat. Uh, you can't hit it with the bat if you don't throw it up in the air. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> Well, you can. You can hit it on the ground like golf. There are stuck together doing it and flying it. Oh, the oh, dragonflies? Oh, just love bugs. No, I don't think it's the dragonflies. It's just any Although random bugs? Yeah, they do do that. Any bugs, just June, June bugs. bugs. We used to whack June bugs with bats. We used to go out there because they're so big. They'd be uh, Well, maybe in we Maine. We also used to catch them, too. No, it's not like South Carolina or Virginia. Oh. I hate mayflies. Those stupid little I hate mayflies, too, because I keep swallowing them when I'm riding my bike and I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Hey, you need the protein when you're working out hard, man. <laughs> One <laughs> one mayfly is all it takes for me to like be able to get the extra cup, yeah, couple, a couple of petals in. Yeah, who yeah. knows? Uh, Just breathe heavier. You'll get more mayflies. <laughs> subscribe to the show. You can find this recipe. It'll be out on recipe.ozzydrakes.com, obviously. Just like the White Walker and all the good, good drinks. One drink didn't make it last week, so shit happens. You know we're math geeks because we go off on tangents. <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty good, too. Wow. Uh, <laughs> sidebar. I think we're done now, right? Yeah. Uh, sidebar. I was supposed to do... Hold on. I got another executive producer to throw up, and then I'll throw up a sidebar for you guys if you're pay if you're still paying attention. I want our executive producer, Logan Davis, to also get some credit because he was supposed to be in the White Walker video and he didn't make it because reasons. Like, like we do this once a month and we or run out of... Yeah. I get it, like, by the fourth, Amazing. right when I'm get right, right, right when we're on point, that's when it ends. Yeah, so when we were doing it once a week, or once every two weeks, yeah. we knew what we were doing. We had a, Usually the first week was rougher, but we still, we would. Yeah. Yeah, not anymore. But, yeah. Fuck that. Now we're stupid. Uh, that's so what I tell people. <laughs> sidebar for more videos, all about, I don't know, probably gin. Down below is our bartender soda kit, so you can start shaking cocktails and making drinks before summer hits. Yeah, get your workouts and make some Ramos gin fizzes. Oh, there you go. That's another trick we should do yeah, again. Get that summer body ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never heard it sold that way before, but we'll go with it. <laughs> Shakes for the chicks. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> oh, that's ugly. I just Googled love bug. What? No, no. Just... Now Google Dr. Love Bug. <laughs> oh, they're gross. Do you want to do a... I do want to do a lady. I just want to know what's on my drink here. That's kind of weird. We should try that. Drink that was in the thing. Yeah. Today we're making a drink with trees in it. <laughs> not really. Derek's not a giant. That's just a sprigadil. For scale. It's a sprigadilio. I'm here for scale. It's, it's a good grass. drink. It's a good drink. Yeah. That's all you need to know. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Sprigadilio. Sprigadigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdigdig
So if you're riding a motorcycle <laughs> and you just get hit by, it's like being in Louisiana or wherever we'd have to like, we'd have to go to the, the gas station to actually scrape the window down because there's so many bugs yeah. on it. Like it was dangerous. You couldn't see. It was just green slime. Like this is in that so hardens fun. and you got to scrape it off. Mm -hmm. That's so weird. I grew up in there with bugs. Airware. Airware? Airware. There's bugs everywhere, man. Oh. That's, you're talking in Manish. Nah, I don't know what I'm talking in. White rum, age rum, overproof. What? I didn't see that part. Okay, passion fruit syrup, or jot. This is where I gotta figure out if we have or jot. This is where you were getting. Oh, we do. You're starting to get clever. Oh, right? yeah, passion fruit syrup. Oh, camera's off. Yeah, I shut him down. Shut him down. Someone's paying attention. I, I was, because I knew somebody else wasn't. I don't see anything green. Are you talking about me? Are you talking about me? I'm saying, but yeah. Ooh, I like that. You like that? Right? It's good. Yeah. I'm sorry like I drank most of it. <laughs> well, that's how you know. No, you're not. Good. I don't know. You're not sorry at all. You know, I find apologizing just really does no good. <laughs> when it's well, insincere, it does not. <laughs> like the, uh, the ASA, the Advanced Pool Spa. Uh, oh, the <laughs> always one. be sincere even when you don't mean it. <laughs> they have some pretty funny sayings yeah. when you drive by there. But a lot of it's dad jokes. Oh, yeah. Well, if, you never met the guy? Have you met the guy who runs it, Jim? No. I, I, well, I met him because Chris knows him, obviously, because he's yeah. cool business and stuff. He's a dad joke kind of guy. What am I looking for? I know it's rum. White rum, aged rum, overproof rum. Oh, I remember one time and it said, what fun. happened to all the Sour Patch so parents? <laughs> there's a couple overproofs in here. There's a, I just don't want to use the... Uh, there's a cube. Lemon Heart, because I know they're not making any more of that. No, they are. The Lemon Heart guy said they're reproducing it again. Oh, okay. They said they wanted money again. What was that, Jim? I said I drove by one time and they had said, What happened to all the Sour Patch parents? Yeah, right? <laughs> they just never, is that eight? Is, is Bacardi eight? Yeah. Yeah, but what happened to all the Sour Patch? Eight, <laughs> eight annuals. Is there enough? Eight annuals? Yeah, three quarter ounces. Oh, they're probably three quarter ounces in there. Need some. Ron Blanco, what do you suggest? I was looking for Bacardi. That's not white though. You can use Havana clubs. Yeah. What, what else is in this? Is that kind of good? Yeah, Havana clubs. Plus, I got it. Yeah, it's almost gone. So. I got another one over there. You gotta finish that. Shit. Did you really? It's grass. Is that the. Yeah, that's why I brought this whole bag over here. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that. There you go. I got more of these. I can polish it for you. I, I can polish it myself <laughs> because you I get those hairs off. Uh, you don't have to get the hairs off. Now I'm gonna have like weird red head on the top, and people are gonna be like, "What the hell happened to that guy?" He must have got some sun. <laughs> I did the other he did day. When he bikes. Uh, yeah, I went outside. <laughs> I got <laughs> exercise. We rode bikes. We rode 12 miles the, the last Saturday. Liam burned 1,200 calories. Wow. I, I burned up like Does he know how to bike? 200. Yeah. Was he just working really hard? Was he running he was like... He was working really hard. So to answer was, your was question... Was like watching Phoebe run from friends? To, <laughs> to answer, is, but yes. <laughs> to answer your question, he does not know how to ride a bike. Well, okay. he knows how to ride a bike enough, but he's super like... It's like he's... It's his he's first time every cautious. time. Like he okay. won't... He's like my... my my palms hurt. I'm like, why? He's like, from pushing. I'm like, why are you pushing? It's, it's, you're not moving the bike by doing that. <laughs> no. No, he, he like, he's, he's like holding on with the death grip. I ride without hands at all. Uh, he's like back there. I'm like, dude, When watch. we were kids, we used to jump off things with yeah, our bikes exactly. and run into stuff right. intentionally, right? I, mean, I would, I tell What's like, wrong we, with today's kids? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, video games. I blame the video games. I saw I them trying too. to toss the football at Dan's place last weekend. Oh, was it sad? Oh, really? It was, <laughs> it was sad. a little disappointing. <laughs> Like, Liam should know how to throw a football. He should. Tyler he, should too. I've, t I've yeah, thrown them. Yeah, Tyler plays. So he tries wow. to do a pop. He tries to do a wheelie. He's like, uh. he's like, Dad, can you do a wheelie? So I lifted both tires off the back, but the back one went up higher because that's easier to grip. But when I was a kid, I used to jump o over things yeah. by just pulling the bike up with me and right, landing. Jump and just because I'm 43 doesn't mean I can't do that anymore. So I like. Jump right up and land. And he's well, like, it kind of "Whoa, was no, it? I'm fucking <laughs> awesome." Yeah, he's like, "How did you do that?" I'm like, "I don't know. Just do it." Because I did it so often. All we the time. We but we need a tiki, 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 tiki. What do you want? Some, some to put the drink in. Tea mug. Oh. Oh, tiki mug. Tiki, tiki, tiki. tiki. You want one of these? Uh, yeah. Are they in here? Whatever it is. Yeah. What? I don't oh, know. Oh, here, use this one. Aren't they in you here? You sell this. I was thinking that. How do they have these those? Big? In stock? I don't care. Yeah, uh, that looks like a honey jar. 
It's probably big enough. Oh, there we are. There's the tiki face. Yeah, it's a tiki face. So when you held it to the side, I couldn't see the face. Oh yeah, it, it looked, looked like, like a honey jar. Yeah. Dump into a shake and dump into a tiki mug with crushed ice. That should be fine, right? Because <laughs> hmm. ice is. I was looking for those other ones that you. Yeah, I want that we don't have any of those in stock either because they don't get an 18 ounce uh, jigger, or 18 ounce tank. Ice may be crushed enough. So somebody's like, today I got a message. Somebody's like, Are you ready to go? Yeah. Like, oh, I need to buy those bar mats. I'm like, okay, go ahead. He's like, well, you don't have enough in stock. I'm like, how many do you need? It's like two dozen. I'm like, I can do it in like two weeks. He's like, well, can you just give me your your manufacturer and their phone number? I'm like, no, no, I can't do that. Like, that's kind of like my deal. <laughs> like, I'm the only one who has these as a bar store that sells these because the guy that sells them makes car mats. Right. And this is on his website if you could figure it out. But they're like, they sell car mats and like mats for the floors and mats for like ergonometry right, right. or whatever it is. Like, so that you can walk without having your hurt so in your is back. This the primary manufacturing component. Right. And I sell more of these than anyone else. Like, why am I going to give you. If you're 24, you know what? If you buy it from him, it's still going to take you the same amount of time to get here because they're in Massachusetts. So if they come to me, it's going to take you one extra day. And I do all the work for you. Exactly. Like, fuck that. They didn't like that answer. That's like going to the Apple store. So can you tell me where your distributor is so right. I don't have to buy from you. I could buy from them directly. Who does that? Can I, can I not give you business yeah. and get what I want? Right. Yeah. I'm currently wasting your time, and now I want to just take your business away. Right. Like, no. Here's my finger. I mean, maybe people aren't thinking about it like that. They're, just, they're not understanding that they're affecting a small business. Oh, no, they knew. Because they were like, whoa, you know, if you don't want to give it out, I understand. I'm like, then well, right. why would you okay. ask? Because yeah. now you put me in an awkward position. That's so why I got to tell you no. That's no, not and lie to you. It's just a, why am I going to do that? That's my business. I was like, it's a private person that I go through directly. He's like, I, yeah, I don't believe that, but I understand if you want to keep it silent. I'm like, the why, why did you bother even mentioning any of that? Why didn't you, if you didn't believe it, you don't have to tell me that. Yeah. It's an unwritten rule. I'm not giving you the answer. You know I'm not giving you the answer. Let's just stick with that. All right, your camera's running. Ready. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. Dan is not here. So, Ian, I usually do the Dan, Dan, you know, whatever. There's only one person in the last two months that's fucking me up. Dave. Dave, Dave and Derek are going to make, mm -hmm. Ian, are going to make a cocktail called the Luau. This. Well, I'm going to make it. You're going to talk about it. I'm, he's going to make it. I'm going to talk about it. And this drink, we have never done before. This was submitted by uh, Stephen Foisey in the chat room. <clears throat> uh, our executive producer, before we forget, is Tim Ida. I think there I'm going to go with Ida. Someone call me Tim. <laughs> uh, you know that one. Yeah, it's uh, not, it's uh, He'll get there. White Python Holy Grail. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I was thinking Life of Brian, but I'm like, no, that's the different one. Yeah. Um, this recipe, I'm going to break it down for you in a second. The recipe ingredients are all rum-based besides the fruit juices. So we're using an overproof rum. This is, in this case, going to be... Hamilton. Hamilton. We're using a Hamilton. You can use Lemon Heart. You can use Bacardi if you really want to. If, I don't think they actually make it anymore, so you might not be able to use Bacardi, which is good because it's pretty horrendous. Uh, from a from an overproof rum, Q, uh, is it Q? Not Q. That's a tonic company. Who's the company that makes... Oh, who's the... Comp competitor to Bacardi. Fuck. Captain Morgan? No, we do reviews of them all the time. Uh, Don Q. Oh, okay. Oh, here it is. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, Don Q has a overproof rum, which is also quite tasty. This one is going to have a Demerara, so it's going to have that rich, uh, dark, uh, black strap flavor to it, along with fire. But the recipe ingredients are going to be three quarters of an ounce of white rum, aged rum, overproof rum, mm -hmm passion fruit, then a half ounce of fresh lime juice, a quarter ounce of orgeat, and a dash of aromatic bitters. This is good stuff, orgeat. This is, these, this is a good brand. These are, yes, yes this is. We love the Liber guys. This is Liber & Co. Available at AustinRace.com. You can use coupon code SPRING19 to save 15% until the end of June. Got it. Um, we sell a lot of library product, especially now around this time of year. We've sold a lot. I think we sold a lot of orgeat. I have a whole other case I'm going to import or bring in. Um, Pass fruit syrup, also a nice tasty addition. I've been asking the library code people to create a falernum, and it's on the list of things to do. So the minute they have a falernum ready, I'm ready to buy it from them because I like Blair from BG Reynolds. I just don't like shipping it from Oregon. 
here, and yeah, it's expensive. Closer. Yeah, they're no, but every no, 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 but it's all shipping included. So it's like I buy a product and it just arrives. I don't have to fucking freight it, yeah. like on a pallet and shit like that. I don't. I, I think it's because I don't know the bottles are like I don't know why, but it's just a simpler and easier packaged product to, to ship. Gosling's 151. Gosling's 151. You can use that instead of Hamilton. That's going to give you some of the Demerara. Wow. That oh, totally shit. That That's the That's why we top with crushed ice. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking crushed ice, my friend. Isn't that what we do? I understand, but that's a lot of crushed ice. I mean, you have to fill all That's not a very big drink. You no. probably should have made double. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's well, a learning good, Jim? Yeah, come on. It's got orange and passion fruit. How good yeah, is that? Yeah, there's, there's nothing bad about what you're doing. It's like a blended drink. I don't want over dilute. Yeah, well, here's the thing. You, while you can technically over dilute this drink because you're adding a lot of small ice particles, so the dilution factor is going to go up, the water is going to go up, this drink ain't going to last that long, so it's not a problem. That's a good point. Let's uh, kick it up. Stir it up. Know. Looks like a rum barrel, man. It does look like a rum barrel, but with like a half the ingredients. Yeah. Um, so that is a nice, flavorful. The, the funny thing is, these are the these guys actually make an almond um, syrup or whatever that is similar to if you make it at home. It's got the color to it. Mm. For some reason, Blair's I think he filters it down or something to make it more clear. Probably yeah. It, it, That's which good. makes it look better in a cocktail. This one's not so bad because it's got this. Uh, right, it's already kind so of it's already yeah, kind of dark. Way more almond than yeah. yeah, this has got a lot more almond flavor to it. Um, it just tends to look a little bit more. Are there nuts in this? I'm allergic. No, there's almonds. <laughs> no, it's just almond. You're good. It's a tree nut. You're good. I gotta wait. I got orgeat all over my mouth. <laughs> it was intentional. I'm confused I just on how this is happening. That was what happened. Uh, he poured some orgeat and then he drank it. I want to taste the orgeat. Oh. <laughs> I missed that, that part. Happens. Okay. Keep drinking. I'll catch up. <laughs> I think Look I told you. Look stuff to cleanse his palate with. <laughs> That's interesting. That, that makes sense. Uh, probably. Well, that sounded like a kid trotting at a good pace. Scratching. Like you can taste that. Hmm. It's like, it's like a forest a little bit. It's a little bit tree-like, right? I, I was gonna say it tastes like cannabis. I don't know. It has like a cannabis. He knows like. nothing about that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, from what it I does. Heard. Yep, you're right. Now I get it. <laughs> you That's the trees I was talking That's about. The trees. <laughs> you just fucking with me right now. No, no, I get it. Oh. I get it. No, I'm, it's hard to tell. I know I fuck with you so often. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything out of my mouth like, is not. I'm not 100 percent sold on what he's saying. Is it? Why is that? that what is it? Why? What? Did you look at all the ingredients in these syrups? Are we yeah. good? <laughs> Are we gonna sit here. I don't know. What's my name? Before uh, I go home. Everything's moving real slow, and everybody yeah. thinks it's all good. We've had all these ingredients. Because it's legal in some like, places, so you got to be careful now. <laughs> uh, you know what? I bet you it's this. It's got to... Got everything had Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah, because we've had everything else. So. Yeah, these are safe. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're all safe. I just think this has that, that dark richness to it. Um, so if you use like a... If you find a clear Blanco... This one is pretty old, one, I wonder. No, that's fine. That's not that old. That that I, we we go through a lot of this, ironically, and there's it's no bugs in this one. I, matter of fact, I don't even know where the hell the rest of it is, or if that's all I have. You may have used it. I'm on a story. I had a 16 ounce bottle at one point. Those are those are orange. Um, I'm going orange. Yeah, those are those are just free. If you want to take one, you can take it. Uh I have to drink and I do at home. <laughs> Give him to Dan. Fair, fair. He, well, Dan already has like at least three or four different oh, okay. orange bitters that I've given him. I bet you could make the uh, that uh, bitter cocktail with those instead of the regular. Oh, maybe. Yeah, Trinidad Trinidad Sour. Yeah. Uh, so I think if you use I a non, if you just use a non, uh, is this Guyana? Because we have yeah. the ingredients right here. To make what? Trinidad Sour. Trinidad Sour. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you put these off to the side real quick. Definitely make a Trinidad Sour. Have we haven't done it on the show in a while? I'll have to look. It's on the side. We can always just make it on the Stay show. Stay on point! <laughs> it's a, I Producer think looked the, at me sideways. I, I think they She's thinking there's some end to end to going on here. And she's like, <laughs> yeah, you guys I'm got looking it. at you sideways. <laughs> I think the, 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 
the factor here is your 151. If you use a, the, the oh, 151 one. is going to make a big difference. Yeah, but we had all these. Yeah. Like none of those give those flavors. It's got to be the Guyana, the the Guyana, Guyana, Guyana. I don't fucking know. Yep, it is. Yeah, it has a funkiness. Smell it. Oh wow. Yeah. Take it your nose. Yeah. No, yeah. a little bit, a little bit. That's all I want to do. Um, I want to get you so if you use a lemon heart, it might be a little different. If you use uh, the Dog Q, it's probably going to be a little different. If you use like 151 from like Bacardi, this is probably going to have a lot more rocket fuel flavor, like ethanol purity to it, cool which might, I mean, that's three quarters. It's equal portions of the, the overproof to everything else. So your what? flavor profile will, will change depending on what you're using for this. I don't mind the drink. I just thought it was going to be a little bit more delicious. I don't really know why. It's not bad. No, it's not bad. But it's uh, like a grog almost. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. It's like got more of an interesting flavor that's that will freaking destroy you a little quickly. Um did that, did that subscribe to the show. Coupon code, Spring19, S P R I N G one nine or so get your August store bitters at uh fifteen percent. Library Co. Boom. That right there is you worth the fifteen percent. You're ready to host those summer parties. Yeah. Stop if you don't have a pool, then you need to be drinking more. Yeah. You don't need a if you don't have a pool, go buy a kitty pool. Put a little bar next to it, soak your feet in it, and drink. That's actually... Sounds kind of nice, doesn't it? Actually? <laughs> solid idea. <laughs> yeah. Get a little inflatable yeah. thingy, so don't have to worry about popping it or anything. Especially if you have like one of those old yeah, houses that's falling it. down and you have a lot of junk in your yard. You just throw that right in the middle. Well, I'm not making a social commentary here. I'm just saying get wet. <laughs> <laughs> get wet! Get wet. Bottom line! Because Ian said so. It's a good idea. Sidebar, we're going to put some more videos up over there for y'all right next to Ian over on that side. Down below is the Bartender Starter Kit. So if you don't have all the stuff you need to start a bar at home, now you can get your syrups, your bitters, and your Bartender Starter Kit all in one place and be ready to rock and make a drink like this. If you're not careful, you'll end up with something like this. Yeah, you got to be careful. If you are, if you're intentionally doing that, then you then could end up with something like this. Holy shit. We're it's not selling it to you, though. Yeah, That's no. a lot more work. Yeah, I'm going to do some markup. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We're taking you out of drink. Later. Go for it. I'll give you a couple. Okay. I'll give you a chance. Today I know you like to talk, so... Today we're making a drink for you guys that's going to be kind of tiki style. It's got a lot of ingredients. It's got a taste to it. There's a nuance of some tree-like flavor that we will uh, ex sound explore in more detail. Oh, Stay tuned. David's in the chat. What's up, David? I follow him on Instagram. I see his construction stuff. Oh, what about David? The other David. How you doing, no, David? The Steven. The other Steven. Yeah. We have to go back to the Steven Canada 10. Oh! That was, that was a kind of weak one, so here's that was zero weak? to five. Oh, that yeah. Oh, so yeah, there's a little that, slappiness there. Yeah, that was that was definitely slappiness. Felt it on the fingertips. Or not actually, just the palm. Hey, you have a, um, finger palm. Finger palm. Finger palm. Sugar. I think sure. have... Why do you keep thinking I have and just walking away into the darkness? Because <laughs> she's not sure. Bag, she just and thinks. You have a bunch of Lewis bags, yet your site says you have zero inventory. Of, of Lewis bags? <laughs> yeah. There's, I have a mallet and Lewis bags. You have a mallet and a bunch of Lewis bags, but only one. No mallet. promises, Stefan. Did I ship those other Lewis bags back yet? Stefan. Stephon. Oh, they're like 25. No, I shipped those. You shipped those back. There's no list bags on the shelf, but someone was trying to. Steven. Steve right. 10 said he was How many to mallets buy. do we have? One. So we have one Lewis bag. I shall put it in the stock momentarily. Okay, don't do anything cool. I'm going to make it pretty nice sour. David, okay. what did you do to your hand, man? I saw the I saw the picture. You had a big old cut. Was it your hand? I'm trying to remember now. I just saw his truck. Do you see it? Yeah. This is potent. <laughs> Now, of course it's potent. Weed, really? Well, you're not tasting hard enough. <laughs> Taste harder! Taste harder. Taste harder. Hey, that's a good... Taste harder! Yeah, copyright. I'm caught. That, yeah, that's mine. You know, you pay me it? to use that. Well, so there you go. <laughs> now, now, now you're making money. Now you just need a method to A method to collect. And, and a uh, layer. Yeah. <laughs> Taste harder. Those are simple problems. That's probably not mine. Somebody probably did that a long, long time ago. Taste harder? Yeah. And you think that you know, that seems like it's such a great marketing slogan? Taste harder. Taste harder. Oh, oh that's shit. a Mike's Hard Lemonade. That would be Mike's Hard Lemonade. Taste harder. They yeah. say that. They, they could. <laughs> but if you claim it, then they have to pay they you. Will now. Well, they probably will now. They, they won't, won't pay, pay me. They so we're going to use a cardamom tincture for this, if, and that tincture is going to be cardamom bitters. Hmm. There you go. That's a good tincture. Because it sucks, doesn't thing. it, Jen? Mm -hmm. My God. It's horrible. <laughs> What's going on here? 
Triple tequila. Oh. We've got some all of them. Smashed it with the pump door. It was gruesome when it was open. What? That's what oh. said. Oh. Ouch. David. He smashed hey, it with Greg. the what? I bet it was gruesome when it was open. It was gruesome when it was closed. <laughs> what? It, what? It was open? He hurt his hand. Open? When you're talking about hand, is it like this or like this? The wound. Yeah, that's that's the bad part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I looking for? Me I don't know. Meth? Meth? Mezcal. Oh. Mezcal. Oh, so for Mezcal... Those might be, there's a Vita over there, should we use that? If you want to. I'm not going to be drinking a lot of this one, so it's up to you. I'm not going to use your Monte Lobos. What else is this? What? Use this one. We got the Vita. Oh, we got this too. Tray. Do you need stitches, David? Honey syrup, you son of a bitch. What? I have honey syrup. Oh, you have honey syrup? Oh, I don't know. Usually. If not, I can get some. Well, we'll make some you know what I learned? You need to put uh, maple syrup in the refrigerator. Because it goes bad? Yeah. Like honey? The honey doesn't go bad. Honey? Honey? You don't have to put in the refrigerator. That just hardens. <laughs> you want me to get honey syrup? Huh? You're gonna make honey syrup? Well, well, yeah, unless you have some. I have it in the store. No, don't take it. No, don't don't downgrade your stock. Honey and water. Honey and water. I will uh, just take it out so I can promo it. Okay. I don't mind making it. <laughs> no, know. he's just gonna show that he has it. So you oh, okay. It. I'm still making. Okay. Yeah. Yo comprendo. Yo comprendo. Well, the problem is people don't seem to buy it. I don't think they find it. Maybe I don't tell people about it enough. What else do we need? Uh, probably not a lot of shirts. Today on Jeopardy! <laughs> Have you seen that Jeopardy dude? No. Dude, he's kicking ass. I heard about him, but I haven't seen him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. He's like, up gambler. It's coming. That's what she said? No, that's what he would Use your knuckles a little harder? That's that. <laughs> Did she? Jen. She said that? She liked the knuckle, huh? The knuckle is good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what am I doing now? She said, use your knuckles harder. And then he said, that's what she said. And I'm like, Wait, what, what, Jen? I do. <laughs> That's what she says joke, it automatically applies to your significant your other. <laughs> there is she. And she says stuff. Oh, hey, okay, guitar girl. Because she's your one and only she. That's right. All right. She's your one and that What is that from a movie? No, no, I'm making that up as I go. Oh. It's your wife, she's your she. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, do you, have, do you have another she in your life? I don't know if that's. How wives work. That, I don't know if that's. It's like. Smart. Like, why? It's fucking genius, dude. Come on. <laughs> Take the wisdom from the unmarried guy about you yeah. know, what marriage is all about. Uh -huh. Fair enough. <laughs> it's bound to be gold. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly be wrong with this? Lemon juice. That's why I'm right. fact. Honey can't get, go off. Yeah. Yeah, it can. It's, uh, it turns it's unbattable. Stuff. Yeah, it turns hard. I don't yeah. understand. But, but it's not happens. bad. It doesn't, no, it doesn't not spoil. Bad. Yeah. Did you just say unbattable? Oh, yeah, it did. I, I thought it was a scientific word, and then <laughs> then I was like, wait a minute. Then you followed up with it doesn't go bad. I'm like, did he just make up a new word? Yeah, dude. It's unbattable. I guess we didn't set the cameras off. Yeah, this nice. is off. This will take a minute. Oh, it's just this one. Oh, well, then stay there and turn it on, too. <laughs> Are you ready to go? I didn't even shut it off, apparently. I don't know where the freaking button is. Go on. Ah, guitar girls. Yes, oh. Dan's contract wasn't renewed for this month. He, no. was, he wanted way too much money. I think it's frozen. He was the... Uh, oh, uh, did that again now? Yeah, it's off and it's still not working. I'm the Don Cheadle to his... Uh, whoever the Iron Man wrote War Machine guy was at first. That was his name. So welcome back, Ian. Yeah, see, Dan and Ian are actually the same person, and they can't be here at the same time. Yeah. It's a it's a law of physics. Two two spectacular dudes can't occupy the same space at the same time. Unless uh, unless you're here two months ago, 
When you were both here at the same time. Tricks of the camera, man. Yeah. They can make Obama say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you see those videos? No. Where it's like, it's like a Obama talking to the camera, and it's like, I'm not actually saying this. I never would. This is the result of video editing. It's somebody editing video because the AI is so good to edit video that they can make video look like somebody's oh, doing yeah. something, uh, saying something that they're not yeah. actually doing. Yeah. Eric says Dan has become a diva. He wanted more soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted more soy sauce, so we were like, no more, Dan. Like, there's not enough soy sauce and all shiny for that guy. I don't know. <laughs> Worth every penny. Nor Worth in, every drop, I say. Nor yeah. in Taiwan. Deep fakes, yes. Thank you, Trey. He knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know you. I thought I didn't know you wanted me to say deep fakes, but I knew you, right? Yeah. I knew there's a word for it. Is what that is. Okay, we good to go. Deepfix. I have no idea. I got your camera to act up again. Well, we need other yeah, things. You can probably turn it on and see what happens. Like a glass. We'll oh. Let it sit for... We need a low ball. We, you, you just stirred in a little. Do you have one over there? Yeah, I did. No? Uh, there's probably three. I don't know if any of them are clean. Yeah, there's one in the sink. <laughs> Ian doesn't clean. He just kind of rinses. Yeah. Do so you have one? And that's enough. Yeah. 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 I'm going to rinse it. Give me a second. <laughs> Three drops. It was here before I got here, so I don't know what was going to call. I won't only rinse it, I'll give it the, uh, the old finger rub. <laughs> Whoa, even the finger rub. Look at this special drink. <laughs> squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing? Squeaky clean. 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 We need to put. Do no, we have everything? The one after this. I'm sure. Let's Okay, we got everything. Yeah, it's it's not, besides yeah, the Kurt's Son is older now. So Kurt, he needs to Kurt, get back on the show. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> uh, I think it's not Curd. I'm sure if Curd was. I understand. Not by himself, he'd be here. <coughs> good? Well, it's a matter of opinion. Yeah! I'm gonna turn on GP camera. Then I'm gonna now. No, gonna... we'll leave it off, or, or you want one for? Want me to try? Well, we can leave it off for this episode and just deal with it. I'm gonna uh, try and cool down. Yeah. Oh. What? I don't think I spun it when I pulled this out of my mouth. Nothing did. <laughs> you think? Mm, we'll find out. All right. I thought well, how how are we gonna know? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. Ian and Derek are gonna make for you the Winnie the Pooh. This is the deep fake of all cocktails. Yeah. This is uh. <laughs> I don't know, Bring it, it back around. Yeah, it, this is a live stream joke for you. Yeah. Um, That's why you have to join the live stream so you get the right. jokes. You should do that. This recipe was submitted by John Spikes. This is a drink. I will go through the ingredient list and then I will show you the yeah, ingredient hello. card. Actually, I can do both now. Um, it's an ounce and a half of reposado tequila, three quarters ounce of fresh lemon juice, one half ounce of honey syrup, a quarter ounce of mezcal, one dash of peach bitters, three drops of cardamom bitters, I mean, cardamom tincture. We're going to use cardamom bitters and just do one dash. Um, and a lemon peel for garnish. If you have a lemon peel, I don't, so that's what we got. Um, so this specific recipe was designed, I think, by Michael uh, Lagenau. says John Spikes. That's a serious eats.com uh, cocktail. I'm sure if you just Google it, you'll find it. Our executive producer is Kijo. I will leave out your last name because I will hack the crap out of it, and I won't do that to you. Uh, this drink is pour it in, pour all ingredients into a shaker glass, add some ice, and strain. So the question is, if you're new here and you haven't seen some of our shows, you're like, "What the fuck is honey syrup? All I have is honey." Well, there's two solutions for you. You can either take honey and dilute it down with some water to make a honey syrup, which is basically a two to one, uh, two parts of honey and one part water, just to loosen up the honey so it's usable. You can also. It's kind of a pain in the ass. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So if you go to AustinDrinks.com, you can get Hudson Elite Classic Mixers. This is a, a honey syrup already made. So you just go like this and you use it. Hey, Derek. Thanks for telling people about things. I am. What's the difference between a tincture and a bitter? All right. Pop quiz. <laughs> Pop quiz. What's the difference between a tincture and a bitter? Here's. And, and I am using this. You guys could do something different if you want to. I could have made a tincture for you guys, but I thought that seems like a waste of my time. A bitter, in this case, is organic cardamom, organic herbs, and spices. A tincture is just 
the cardamom. So the tincture would be one thing. So these guys, they don't give you all their ingredients because it is a secret sauce. Uh, but we do know it has herbs, spices, and cardamom. So what they could do is produce a cardamom tincture, okay. a Butter. spice tincture, whatever that spice happens to be, and an herb tincture if it's a single herb, and then blend them together to get their mixture, right? Using a bitter, in our case, I know that this is vibrant cardamom, so you're not going to necessarily be able to tell the difference between a cardamom tincture and a cardamom bitter in this. I think this is going to complement it just fine. But if you didn't have this for some reason, this is Scrappy's cardamom bitters. But you happen to have cardamom pop sitting around. Right. It's it. <laughs> Fair point. Um, if you happen to have a few. You, if you, you do, but you're yeah, not normal. <laughs> um, if you have cardamom pods sitting around, Crack, you know, mu muddle them, crack hmm. them open a little bit, let them soak in some eth like some pure. What's a cardamom pop look like? Pop, 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 pop. Why, Why is it such a tongue twister? See? What does a cardamom <laughs> a pod pop. look like? A cardamom pop? That looks like a box. Pop like. So that's citric acid. Cardamom pop, pop, pop. Uh, uh, all spice. <laughs> cardamom pop? Cardamom no, cream Oh, cream Yeah, cream key. Are they not in here? Apparently not. You got some juniper. Oh, there they are. There they are. Cardamom pop! Cardamom pop! So, uh, if you have cardamom pods, take some, what's that crazy high proof Fair. pure, oh, oh my god. Oh! Oh. Oh. Everclear. Everclear. Yeah, so something that you use to extract the flavor out. Or your, or Don't saliva. use your saliva. No, that's not good. It's a very potent. Kind of salty, too. Potent. Um, um, no, I'm not I've had one um, before. Okay, Steven's next pop quiz, what's a shrub? Mm. Shrub this way you guys is know. what this yeah, is. So uh, honey simple syrup is actually a honey and there's a vinegar that's used in here. So basically if it's a vinegar base for extraction of flavor and stabilization, it's going to be a shrub. So uh, vinegar, raspberries could be a raspberry shrub. It works simple with fruits syrup, pretty well. It tends to work with fruits very well, right? Yeah. Shrubs, yeah. Syrup, like sugar and raspberries, is a, is a raspberry simple syrup. Um, alcohol in raspberries would be either a raspberry tincture or a raspberry bitter depending if you add any bitter ingredients like right. cardamom pods or wormwood or cherry bark or something like that. That's right. Nice. What? That's very mezcal -y. <laughs> Really? Yeah. You already tried it? Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. not even that much mezcal in there. Yeah, Shrub is equal parts like vinegar thing. and fruit, says Mark. Equal parts sugar. Yeah, you're going to use sugar, vinegar, and fruit of some type. Um, equal parts might depend on the recipe you want to use. A basic shrub would probably be equal parts. But I'm guaranteeing if you go and buy a, a shrub, shrub from a company, it's going to be whatever the fuck they want it to be. It doesn't have to be equal. Yeah, wormwood's not banned. You just have to have certain pH and stuff to be able to ship it around the U.S. Wormwood is not banned. Wormwood is not a, a substance. There's, wormwood. There's no. more thujone and sage than there is right. wormwood. So. And I have sage upstairs, and I have wormwood right here. So, thujone is the psychedelic component. Yeah. So if you had a uh, 15 yeah, billion parts of thujone, you you might get, you might see some purple dragons. 15 billion, 15 billions. Mm -hmm. What? It's like a thujone is like like in a in absinthe is like 15 billion to one or something. It's something crazy. Yeah, it's parts, ridiculously small. Parts yeah. per billion. Like it's not even a it's not even a thing. I, I believe, and the absence people will jump on us if we're wrong. They will. Uh, yeah. That they, they won't the, see this. The, the, the thing that uh, people attribute now the absinthe visions, the green fairy, to is not the absinthe itself. But the alcoholism? Well, the fact that it's a very high proof I, alcohol. Yeah. And the fact that they weren't just doing alcohol at the time, they were also doing other yeah, like mushrooms? Tea and... Yeah, they were doing other things. Say. So, but they were having they, a good time. But they associated with the absinthe made, good for, made for good marketing and. Derek's dad sees pink elephants. He's tried. He, you know what? My father tried. Well, he drank. A, he, he drank a lot well, of absinthe. Steve. <laughs> and you know that's not true. But, <laughs> my dad drank a lot of absinthe one night because he thought he would see pink elephants. So he got drunk. He got really drunk. Yeah. Well, there you and go. He got really hungover for like three days. He said he's never drinking absinthe again because it was a three day hangover. I'm like, it might just be because you're drinking too much, Dad. Yeah. If you do that with tequila. Same thing will happen. That's so because he's a beer drinker and he yeah. can drink beer forever. So he drank two cans of absinthe. Yeah. yeah, he drank a lot of absinthe. He's like, I usually drink ten cans of beer. And that was after all the beer, though. It wasn't like he didn't. It wasn't one or the other. It was yeah, all... get him, get him a louche next time he does that. So at least it oh, breaks it down a little that? bit. Oh, we, we were talking about it while we were drinking it. Of course. Um. So before I get back to this, this 
You don't like this because of the smoke? Yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm not a Mezcal fan. It's just such a powerful yeah. flavor. It but is, and if you don't See like how much Mezcal's in here? You guys like it, I know. But you see how much is in here? Yes. No, that's I bought Dan this last week. <laughs> Dan and Jen drank all of it. Dark out a little bit. I don't doubt it. <laughs> me, me and Juliet probably had and two that's drinks. that's why it's anti -anti. Yeah. <laughs> anti -anti. And that was drank. This is all one night. All one night. And that's all that we had left. And that's when Jen starts making up words. Yeah. <laughs> it's not absent. It's mezcal. It's mezcal. But. It makes me make up words. Hold on. But there's more. Because that wasn't the only absent. I mean, that wasn't the only mezcal. We also drank down to here of your bottle. Mm -hmm. Of Montalobos. Dance bottle. Dance bottle. And we also drank a bunch of this. Which is another mezcal. <laughs> I can't, it's black. I don't you know. You guys just nutty. The, the mezcal that I did like the most, I will say, was the uh, kimasabi. Yeah. Oh, that was really good. It was yeah, very, was good. it wasn't like it punched you in the face mezcal. And, yeah. and they, were, they had their stuff put together. I didn't even, I didn't, we didn't even open that one. Probably that was thing. good. I bet you would like that one. No, you wouldn't. This is smoky. It's not that smoky. That's why we got it. Here's it's one. put together, though. Here. Yeah. This kimasabi is the original. Kimasabi was uh, smoky, and he said that when he didn't. That's like true. It. That's true. What was in there? Let's go. Do you like oh. uh, Lafroig Isla Scotch Ian? No, not really. I mean, it's it's okay in a rinse of some drinks, I guess, but yeah, I don't like I, yeah, I'm not a big fan of drinking it. This is really sour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, never it's mind weird. then. <laughs> this is an eighty dollar bottle of Methcal. Of course, I it's. get two of them. It's the hipster liquor. It is actually. <laughs> this is this is like a thirty something dollar bottle. It's the time to be in the mezcal business right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. This is too sour for me. I it, the smoky I thing. I need part something fine. to take that out of my mouth. <laughs> you don't like the mezcal? Nanda? Durango? I didn't well, think he was not, gonna like it, but no, I'm not a fan. Uh, it's a little too sour. It doesn't sour. mean it's not bad. It doesn't mean it's a bad product. It's just not, no, not for me. Right. I don't think the don't honey syrup. Yeah, I don't like that you know what it is? Here's here's what it is. You have three quarters ounce of fresh lemon juice and a half <laughs> ounce of honey syrup. Mm. So you you're going it's going to be more sour. This is just a little too it's it's you want fine some more honey syrup. You think? Yeah, it's a little too sour, um, but otherwise it's a fine drink. It, it, you know what though? It tastes like a fucking margarita. I don't get any of these other abilities. Again, being a sport and trying mezcal. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was that, that was, was pretty bad. Yes, Doug Love. Oh, yeah, watch the elbow. Well, let me redo, redo that first one. Really? It's really bad. We gotta redo the first one. Why okay. didn't we? Ah! I, gotta, I gotta watch the elbow. That's what it is. Yeah, you gotta watch the elbow. Ah, oh, the um, that did help a little bit, but it's probably gone now. Um, it's sour. It's like right? a margarita that's a little bit smoky. My tongue is like numb, really? and it's not good from like a jambu flower. No. <laughs> it's not my finger. <laughs> it's not <like> fish. <laughs> I you and know yes, what? That's an inside joke. Yeah, it's an, it's an outside joke actually. There you go. It's, it's a different state joke. So here's the deal. This needs more honey. I didn't make the recipe. I'm guessing the person's <laughs> not huge on sweet drinks. So yeah, if you like a like a more sour for drink, this is for you. I could drink it. It's just very slow because it's just got a, it's almost like a sour beer. Like it's just got a lot of acidity in the front end. Not enough peach for me. Dash the shit out of that. You need like three or four dashes of that. The From cardamom's what? fine. Fine. The, the peach? Yeah. Did you use it? Peach it up, yeah. yeah. Solomon says, Ian, why don't you like the taste of barbecue-esque rubbing alcohol? I don't know what's wrong with me. It's got to be me. <laughs> Look. Now this needs some juice. Wait, what are you doing? Hey, don't ruin my drink. Oh, yeah. Jen's going to like it. Come get some before I get pissed at it. I already <laughs> added a little... I added some peach to it to make it not as sour. Um, I don't like that. So. Educational facts for you. We have this at AustinDrakes.com. It is a vinegar base, so more of a shrub, mm -hmm. honey shrub, if you will. Peachy with all that peach. It is, but it was soury with all that sour. So peach needs <laughs> orange juice. Um, if you want to make your own tincture and you don't want to go to AustinDrakes.com and buy a bottle of Scrappy's cardamom bitters or Fee Brothers cardamom bitters, you can go buy real cardamom pods. This is a more cost-effective solution. However, this is going to cost the same as a bottle of this. And then you got a fuckload work. of pods, and you got to do the work, and no. you're only going to need a few pods. But if you take these pods, you throw them in pure, what was that stuff, Everclear? Yeah. Boom, some like 150 proof I would, Everclear? I would say try the bitters first before you start making your own, because you may buy enough to make a gallon of bitters and realize that you don't like it and have yeah. a use for it. So. Yeah, cardamom bitters are very vibrant, back. so if you don't have a good recipe that you're going to like 
really use a lot. Mm. Like, I've had this bottle since I've had Awesome Drinks. Like, this is a 2014 or something. I have a bottle of Fees Cardamom for whatever. And oh, yeah. Fails at the back. It's a little sweeter, but still it pretty is, yeah. cardamom flavor. And it, it's, it's, it's a strong really, flavor. It, it's a very vibrant number. <laughs> Don't say so, Jen. Um, Doug needs to come back sometime. You have... You have uh, Doug no. will probably not be back. He won't be back. Because he has, he, he's not drinking alcohol anymore. Yeah. No, that's okay. He doesn't have to drink. We can still hang out. Just yeah, not around alcohol. Not I'm not having it's Jaleetha not yelling drink. at me. Yeah. Uh, what, Jaleetha doesn't like Doug? No, because of the alcohol. They, like, don't bring alcohol around Doug while he's here. That would be stupid. Well, yeah, yeah. It should be like, why the fuck are you doing that, you dumbass? You fucking donut. Mm, she would use the D word. Yep. <laughs> he being called a donut. Not a... <laughs> um, so... Okay, drink, a little sour. I would say sweeten up a little bit, add some honey or agave nectar. Um, but if you don't add dashes of the cardamom, more dashes of cardamom or peach, to me, this is a margarita with a little bit of mezcal, which I'm fine with. I like margaritas with mezcal. Uh, and, and I can even drink this because, look, it happens. Because you have. Yep. So Proof you have your education. Proof you, is out of the bottle. <laughs> you have everything you need, in, including proof that I know what I'm talking about because it's out of the bottle. Well, Prove you think you know what you're talking about. That's all that matters, though. Down below, Andre Starter Kit, sidebar, more videos. That is it, my friends. We are going to teach you how to drink. Here we go. We did it. We did it. Now we <laughs> yeah. can go leave. Yep. Today we're making a mezcal drink, which is going to be awesome, obviously. Stay tuned for some funny faces. <laughs> I like mezcal. Yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> did he find God? Oh, he did, didn't he? That's a side. <laughs> that's a side thing. Not like that wasn't. Yeah, sort of. Well, I don't. Is know he like he Waldo? Really believes in God. Oh no, he's a, no. Doug's a Quaker now. Oh, oh Quaker. That's what. It is that what it is? Yeah. Does and, he wear and, the hat and everything? That's cool. No, uh, Doug is a Quaker because I think he was told he's, he's a Quaker. Oh yeah, his wife said you're a Quaker. <laughs> oh Doug, I miss Doug. Not necessarily drunk Doug, just Doug. Just Doug in general. Yeah, I was I was pleasantly surprised to get a text from him last month. Oh, you know why? You will get a text from Doug when his wife is out of town. <laughs> yeah, we just well, he had a proud papa moment. He was sharing with me. There you go. And uh, because I mean, sharing, nice it, from him. sharing it with the guy that has no kids. Yeah, well, no, sure. I could be happy for Doug. Yeah. I just go. Do you think I'm incapable of happiness for other people? I got a phone call from Doug because Derek couldn't get it. <laughs> Derek was busy. I was doing a podcast. I was doing a podcast at the time. And he's calling me like, dude, I can't. I can't. I want to move to North Carolina. Why does North Carolina suck? I can't think of a good reason. Why it would suck? Or why to move there? Like, why does North Carolina sucks? Yeah, I don't live there. Are good. There's a good technology industry. I wouldn't live away. there because I live here. But if I had to live someplace, I wouldn't discount it. Because I had a contractor for the last month and a half was from North Carolina. He seemed to like it. Yeah, I feel like I, I don't know. San Diego is nice, though. And after Dan said how, like he, I don't he was there. San Diego. Uh, why? I wouldn't want to move to San Diego. But it's nice and far away. It's like the opposite area. But I'm not like is that. Is that Tom? Yeah. Old Tom? You're not That's into... pretty good. That's made with honey. You're not mm. into what? Mm. Oh, yeah, you weren't here for that. I'm not a beach person. Neither am I. No, yeah. I don't, I'm not a coastal but person. But the weather is nice. Fuck the beach. Mm. I don't want a beach person either. Yeah. I don't know. I like tropical beaches. I don't like Hampton Beach. Yeah, but I don't want to live on <laughs> one. I don't want to live on one. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. You, you're a bit. You're not. You don't. You're not living on a beach. You're living in a desert. So if you don't like living, well, in I a don't desert, want to live in a desert either. Then you have. Then that's the problem. Because there is definitely some desert happening. Uh. Man, you did that, boo. Oh, did I, yeah, I did this. <laughs> it's boring and full of bigots. Roads suck. <laughs> Okay. That's what Guitar Girl Sammy said. I don't think I have a good no, argument. None, none of those actually years. bother me, though, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Ian's like, sign me up. Yeah. I'll go to North Carolina. It's yeah. boring. You know what? It's full of bigots. He's from Maine. Boring is good for me. Bigots, I don't talk to people, so I really don't care what people think. <laughs> All right. And we, we, we're from New England. England. Yeah, our roads. Yeah. Our we roads. are about sucky roads. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have to, oh, you basically have to strip time. every year. I hit a raccoon the other day. Was it dead already? No, it was on the highway. Was it big? I was trying to get off the highway. Yes, and now my car is split. What does that mean? The front of my car is split. It cracked. You got really spoiler, from my, hitting a raccoon? My bottom spoiler, my chin yeah. spoiler, yeah. it's like yeah. dragging on the ground. Really? Yeah. Well, it'd have been like 80 miles an hour, too. Holy crap. Did he live? Don't know. I didn't turn around and ask. 
Well, you should probably um, go fix that yeah. along with the other dents that you have. Mm. I'm just trying to get enough of them that was worth the trip. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I just you need some zip ties. Now. Yeah, I'm You're not going to fucking fix your I'm car. I'm going to get some zip ties. Ian's car, me. if Ian took care of his cars and like had his shit done, it would look mint. They run really well. My cars run well because you, I take care of them that your way. Car? You, it's uh, 140,000 miles. Oh, shit. You might. I got an 11. It's a 12. But okay. you, you, you can keep look making it look okay though too. That's yeah. awesome. like I guess it will never get yeah. stolen. It's a perfect. I want to get like a, like a, a rocket shell. raccoon sticker with like a cross, like a <laughs> the circle with the cross through it, like a no smoking. That's what this dents for. No raccoon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that would drive me fucking nuts. Like I don't mind a small yeah, little thing, but raccoon killer. I can't deal killer. with that. I can't deal with that. Yeah, roads in no roads in uh, Nashua, New Hampshire suck. Yeah. Nashua does not take care. Roads in Massachusetts are better than New Hampshire because they have taxes to pay for them. Um, no, what's in roads not bad? Nashua's roads suck. That's it. That's but but it's oh New Hampshire. Yeah, it is. That's a good. Question. Oh, this is the way we have to squeeze orange juice. Yeah, but our plowing's way better, at least than Drake it. When we go to Dan's in the snow, our I roads know. like when. They stop on in New Hampshire. You can tell where the the border is. Yeah. Because they don't plow with crap. Coffee room. Oh, okay. I was looking for flaredom. Velvet flaredom. That's over here. I'm like hood rich dummy. I like having a nice car. Says Trey. <laughs> oh, I understand. I have a nice car in the shop. Ian, did you hit Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Got to get the sticker. It says no rocket welcome here. Salem, New Hampshire. Salem is no really no different than where we are. We were just we we rode our bikes down 28 in Salem last weekend. The rumors are true about one inch of snow shutting down the entire state of North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could drive in an inch of snow with no. Yeah, as you may remember. That's the thing like is that. if it, like we wouldn't have an issue with that. We could drive from cold rum. <laughs> we could drive in all kinds of fucking weather. And while you're at it, red rum. Red rum? Yeah. Is that a some movie reference, don't worry about it. <laughs> You'll, you won't get it. Now I'm lost in what you asked me for. Dark, Dark rum, gold rum. rum. Dark rum. I want an orange. I think I, I see you. No, we have an Audi. We don't have a BMW. Uh, SQ5, bitches. I want to get a Jeep. Ah, the eye! Really? I, I, I will get <laughs> a Jeep. Right in the eye. I want to get a four, four door <laughs> Jeep with a plow on it this year. <laughs> uh, maybe a blue or a, a black. What color Jeep? You need to go. A maroon red one. Maroon, maroon red. Jeep. Like a dark, oh, was his dark red? Yeah, yeah. Was it? I like the dark Jay with the arm red. has it now. Yeah. Who? Jay with the arm. Oh, I thought you said Jim and the arm. What's the arm? I don't know. He has arms. <laughs> John used to call him Jay with the arm because um, it was an arm brace. Cause he, when he met him? Yeah, uh, yeah, because he, uh, he pulled like a... Uh, he was trying to move a rock with his arm. And he pulled a... He was mowing... Jay. He was mowing and he was trying to move the rock with one arm and he pulled something in his arm. Uh, so he was in a brace. So John, you know John. Yes. Called him, <laughs> called him Jay with the arm for the longest time. Uh, I can see that. Still does. Okay, scatter is around here and everyone pushes every day off. Like, calm down. <laughs> Where are you, Ken? Quit yeah, I wouldn't own a Ferrari. I I don't think I would could make enough money in the world to actually own a Ferrari or a Lambo. Like, I just can't fathom spending that kind of money on a car. No. Solomon. Even if I had millions, I can't fathom spending that kind of money on a car. Gendry. Gendry? Gendry. Or yeah, Gendry. Gendry, Gendry. And yeah, Gendry is the going to be the king. Gendry Baratheon. Says. Gendry Baratheon will be the king. Mark my words. But he's the lord of, uh... He's a Baratheon. My home. Did you Whatever make orange juice or are you just eating it? He's <laughs> just eating it. Now you're going to peel another one. <laughs> I have to peel it and juice it, though. <laughs> what are you going to juice? You're eating it. Well, I bought a he bunch. You would be able to eat it. You he's not too bunch. fat for that. Right, you <laughs> bought it. healthy. Oh, you, sure. You, you, you want some? No. You bought a bunch, but you still haven't juiced one yet. Mm. Do we need more than one? We need an ounce. <clears throat> But we need an ounce it. juice, not like whatever you're doing. We'll get to it. <laughs> All right, are you ready? No, I don't have juice. Storm then. I thought he was gonna do it. We also need life. grapefruit juice, one ounce. <laughs> Ian is making that orange look fucking delicious. <laughs> All right. It is fucking delicious. I'm gonna juice this right now. 
Storm's right. done. Thank you. No, I'm sure they're absolutely great cars, but I cannot fathom spending. I don't even care if I have millions. To spend that kind of money on a car seems ridiculous to me. For what? A Lambo or a Ferrari. Oh, I'd buy one if I had millions. Really? I'd buy, all, I'd I'd buy everything I want if I had millions. What the fuck? <laughs> You cut it the wrong direction. Do you want it like that? No, I'm wrong. You're right. Okay, so <laughs> do you want it like that? I want it the way it goes in here. Like, Just don't listen to him. I don't know why you're doing it with the bread knife. Because it's the only knife I found. Okay, <laughs> but fair. Fair, fair. fair. Because I, mean, I washed the other ones. I could use the knife in my pocket, but I think it would take a while. Ian is Turmon. He drinks giant milk from the dit. Teat. Teat. <laughs> dit. Oh, okay. we need to, Let me use this knife There's next no time. E at the end to make it teat. What is that? Will that work next time? Oh I my god, what are you going to do with that? I don't, a, I don't uh, have it. We use it sometimes outside of the live stream. What? The bar. We use the bar? Yeah, whenever... Oh, this is not clean. <laughs> this is from, like, last time we used the bar. Yes, there is Kapa... Yes, that is Guitar Girl. What? Polly. Guitar girl knows her stuff. <laughs> it's very distinctive bottle of handles. Yeah, Permit. I think Kevin's been down Permit. here. Uh, He's down everywhere. It doesn't have to be down here. It doesn't try. It just, Kevin, you know. Kevin's been in the house? Yes. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Are you ready to go now? Sure. Are you make, wait, let me Hold on. Get shake your strainer. Ready? Well, that's by the time There's a lot going on here. I don't know about the texture. I had to eat a whole orange, buddy. You, you, that wasn't actually a requirement. I it said, was a requirement. I said, can you give me an orange? Challenge accepted. I'll have another one. <laughs> <laughs> you like, can hey, you give me an orange? Drinking your shot. Oh, what's it doing there? You need your shot. <laughs> <laughs> a shot in your drink. No. Oh. All right, ready? Welcome to Combat Cocktails. Derek and Ian, yeah. Dave are going to make for you the Krakatoa. Krakatoa. I'm yelling because this is like some later drink in the episode. It's like a it's volcano. A, it's a volcano. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's also something that Squidward screams every now and then in SpongeBob SquarePants. Does he? I don't know if I recall. No. Well, um, uh, maybe. Doesn't that does. just make you the SpongeBob geek? Yep, it does because I love SpongeBob. <laughs> Own it. I do. It's a great show. You guys should all watch SpongeBob. What's the other show with Family Guy? Family Guy. And uh, uh, what's the one on Morty? Netflix? I haven't watched. Oh, Liam oh. loves Big Head. Um. No, the puberty one. Big, Big mouth. Big mouth. Big, Big mouth. mouth. Yeah, that's a good one. Those are the shows you have to watch. Here's the recipe for a crack show. It's an okay. ounce and a half of gold rum, ounce and a half of dark rum, one ounce of orange juice, one ounce of grapefruit juice, an ounce and a half of lime juice, one ounce of apricot liqueur, half ounce of velvet falernum or any falernum, two ounces of coffee rum or coffee liqueur, whatever, one dash of Augustor bitters. That's it, my friends. Fresh orange juice is how you produce this recipe. Was that cracking for me? Did you oh. hear it? Did you crack? Cracking. What about you? Oh wow, you didn't like. You set me up the bomb. Oh, you didn't have anything to do with this, did you? Nope. Um, for this, I'm gonna use some fresh orange juice because freshly squeezed orange juices are the best. I don't know. These are are these car car oranges? Yes. Oh, I love car car oranges. I know that's why I got them. I have a video up here. It's all about how actual orange juice, if you buy at the store, stand is, buying a bag for. Two bucks. I bought oranges for two bucks each. <laughs> it's uh, what? It's car cars are not cheap compared to other oranges. You know why? Because they're, they're fucking good. awesome. I understand. I'll be right back. Then I will tell you about oranges. I just want to get the flesh off because we need multiple juices for this. In drink. the meantime, you can just watch me pour stuff from one thing to another thing. <laughs> he lifts things up and puts them down. Oh, and some. Nope. He's got a. He's got a Oh, you gotta breathe yeah. on it? Yeah. So. Good thing I got Godzilla breath. <laughs> fresh That's, orange juice. You got the sugar right out of that thing. Is the best. Because if you buy a bottled orange juice, it's basically a flavor additive, but they use natural parts of the orange to create the flavors. Therefore, they don't have to put artificially flavor on it. But they have a special recipe flavor pack that generates the flavor for the different orange juices, which is why if you buy Tropicana, you buy Simply Fresh or whatever it's, whatever it's called, mm -hmm. um, all the different orange juices, Minute Maid, they all taste different. How the fuck can that be? Because they pull out all the oxygen so that they can store these in large vats for like a year. So it doesn't go bad. They blend the Valencias and Car Cars, all those together, and then they suck it all up. When they suck out the oxygen so it doesn't go bad, it also kills all the flavor. You need these already? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Keep doing what you're doing. Gonna... Here, just pour it in this. 
one ounce, please, sir. Did he say sir. recipe yet? I did. He did. And then he just kept talking <laughs> and then stopped juicing. How much you need? One ounce. How about an ounce and a half? I can do an ounce and a half. It just keeps coming, though. I have ways. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'll put it back. There you go. That's an ounce and a half. I don't know. Oh, and fresh grapefruit juice. Don't buy bottled grapefruit juice. Mm. While they probably do something very similar from a grapefruit juice perspective, oh, fresh grapefruit juice has less tartness, more juiciness. The just the acidity levels aren't goodness. nearly the same. So you hated grapefruit juice for a while, didn't you? What? Didn't, were you? Not, you were not a fan of grapefruit. Juice. Oh, I hated. Oh, no. no, and then I tried fresh grapefruit, I'm still juice, not a fan of grapefruit juice, and I was like, "Whoa!" Who's talking, to you, Jen? What the well, fuck is this? In my opinion, anyway, Ian. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we're gonna shake it straight all these into a, into a Chicago highball glass, by the way. Dip, dip, dip. Will the boys be boys? I don't know if this is going to be in my shot when we do the video. Also, don't forget to go to awesomespace.com. You can use coupon code SPRING19 and save 50% off on everything on your order. Um, for instance, if you're looking for Trinity Bitters, which is a... Uh, what the fuck? Why is it so dark looking? Oh my gosh. Looks like poopies. It does look like poopies. Gargadaw! Yeah, well, it's the... Mayas' scissors. Yeah. No, but no. The it's the Kapali. Oh, yeah, the Kapali, too. So, Trinity Bitters is a good bitter if you're like, Derek, I want to buy bitters, but I don't know what to get. You get Trinity Bitters. It's going to work in your bourbons. It's going to work in your gins and your vodkas. It's and all a trifecta. It's a, tri it's a trifecta. It's got orange bitters. It's got cherry bark vanilla bitters. Orange bitters are great for your, your lighter spirits. Cherry bark vanilla for your darker spirits. Why are you so confused? No, no, it's an interesting drink. It's because it's, you're trying to figure out why it's so dark. No, no, I know why it's drink. Oh, I know it's dark. I just, I'm, it's the flavors. Oh, you're. I didn't know you were stealth trying it. Mm. <laughs> you can't drink out of your glass. No, Ew. you got cooties. <laughs> so this drink was made by me and Curtis back in some years ago. This has got coffee. Yeah, right up in the place. I like it. I like coffee. Orange goes well in coffee. Says that does oh, not yeah. look appealing and puts the green face. <laughs> no. It's pretty interesting though. But if it's not you, in a bad way. It's if just... you think of it as more of a coffee based drink, mm. then it starts to it's like a coffee tropical drink. There's no ice in here or is there? What was that room? <laughs> <laughs> Mark it. That's what, that's, what the, the reel. that's what the <laughs> that's, that's what the bartender's like. Did, am, am I supposed to get ice in this? Fuck. <laughs> No, there's no room. There's no room in there. <laughs> Does it look like there's any room for ice? Do you want me to get rid of some drink and give you some ice? <laughs> no, I was just Smart curious. Ass. I didn't think so. I just didn't understand why like every Don't drink has it. ice, but this one drink didn't have any. Doesn't need it. It's like an iced coffee. <laughs> well, it's the ice. It's like a cold, <laughs> cold brew. It's like cold brew. There you go. Cold brew still needs. I don't know. That's is cold brew hot. I will smack you in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> why are you gonna do that now? I don't know. This it seems like the thing. Well, to do. cold brew should be hot. How do they make cold brew? They brew it coldly. How do you get any any? Uh... You know how you make iced tea? You let the tea soak in the water. Yeah, but that takes a long time. Yeah. Oh cold fuck! Brew. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Cold brew. Is that why they like always talk about how it's always dead at work? Like they're always like cold brews. We're out of cold brew. Like is it because it. It takes and a long just time. just make it five minutes, yeah. And they just have like a, a vat of it, and then once it's gone, you gotta wait for like five hours. Like some like that. tea. Dude, that's, what's the advantage of that? Is it that much better? Why is it Smoother. a thing now? I, I buy it at the grocery store. I buy the Stoke, the red, they have like a chocolate flavored, and then they have like a, but it's really good. It's for like coffee and ball. It's pretty damn good. Mm. I'm not drunk! <laughs> You're drunk? No, I, I, li I really yeah. like drunk, Derek. No, it's <laughs> sober, Derek. <laughs> I'm drunk. Uh, it's pretty good. I like being drunk. I've <laughs> been drunk for hours now. Okay. This drink, if you think coffee... <clears throat> beat some sense. Oh. Uh, ah! Ah! You know what? For some reason, that hurt. You didn't expect the second no, one? No, that, that was probably Nobody the I, I reached, position. I, I kind of... <laughs> I let my hand go limp, and then I get hit, so it slapped, and it's stingy now. Yeah. Um, If you think coffee, this makes sense. If you think, like, uh... Pineapple. Chocolate. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's a weird color. It's not, it's just all the coffee coming in. But it has coffee, orange, like coffee, citrus flavor, a little bit of clove. What we learned from the one time that I went to that Rumson thing with you guys is that coffee and citrus pair well. Pair well. Right. Yeah, Interestingly enough. So, I, I think fresh. Think it, but they do pair well. 
Fresh citrus with this drink because you don't get all the weird, the like, I don't know, whenever you put like bottled stuff, it tastes artificial. different. Yeah, it tastes artificial, but yet it doesn't by itself. And I don't know why, but fresh orange juice, especially the car car, which is super juicy and sweet, work really well. You bring in that coffee flavor, and then I, I seriously, I don't taste rum. Like, if there's rum in there. Oh, it's there, man. <laughs> you put it in there. Yeah. No, I don't get the apricot. There's three ounces it's, of it. Really? It's there, man. Oh, that's going to fuck you up. And, yeah. I mean. Is it a knockout drink? Leave that one for Jen. Yeah, this is this is a sleeper knockout drink because. Well, it's so big, too, though. I mean, it's a it's a big drink. Right. Yeah, because you, you can't even fit ice in there. Yeah. You have three yeah, ounces of no pure rum. rum. <laughs> then you have a liqueur, which is a rum base. Nobody so, rum. it's like. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, three, four, five. Plus the apricot six. liqueur. Which it's is probably like twelve percent. Six ounces of booze. This I mean, is like of, of, of various qualities, obviously. But right. Yeah. yeah, but apricot brandy. This is just like, oh, I'm just gonna douse it with wine. It's got the same amount yeah. of alcohol. But so wine. as a, uh, as like so a table. Opinion, well, this is thirty five percent alcohol. Oh fuck. Really? No, I don't think so. So in your opinion, could no, you it use says thirty five percent alcohol. Sub for apricot oh. liqueur. Yeah. Hmm. You could, but it would change. The, it wouldn't be the same flavor. Amaretto. Yeah, I don't think it could. Yeah. Amaretto is not an apricot, so that oh. kind of puts a damper on things. But it's from but it's tasty. the apricot. The bitter almonds it that come from the center bitter, of the apricot. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. but no, the, the flavor is different, but the it has sweetness, and it has really? a similar content of alcohol, so you could swap it out. It won't taste works. like this. It might taste better. I don't know. Everything with Amaretto always tastes... No, she, never, she never said that, Diana. <laughs> Think about this. You've got orange juice and Amaretto in, in their scenario. Just the first part. LOL. <laughs> it's so big. Um, oh. Orange juice and Amaretto, we know, is like fucking killer app. Yeah, like That's good, yeah. like you sell, that's they IPO, well. you're done. Yeah. Right. This has orange juice, so if you brought in the amaretto over the apricot, yeah, maybe that, I think it well, I mean, would. Apricot and orange juice go well together, obviously. There you go. Right. Deconstruction. Apricot, apricot and boom. Apricot this is a lot of work for deconstruction. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we just mix everything out as a double batch and then split it up and add the apricot or amaretto. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think amaretto would be a great substitution for this if you don't have hmm. apricot, but it will not be this. Right. It could be better. It probably won't be worse. It'll Nothing just be different. Worse. Right. <laughs> I think it's a fine drink, as long as you like coffee-based drinks. This is coffee I think based. we're getting back an empty glass, is what I think. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll it's see. pretty tasty. Um, you get wrecked drinking too much of these things. Like, the, all the stuff we had tonight. Like all Someone's those... ass getting laid tonight. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's that's a quote. So. Yeah, is that like... Is it? No, that's... It's Grandma's Boy. You ever see Grandma's Boy? No. Okay. But she made it sound like Lincoln. Yeah, well, it's an African guy. Yeah. So, you know. so same. It's Dr. Shackle. Good African accent. Yeah. Good job. Someone's ass getting laid tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, our, executive, in there. our executive producer is uh, Bonnie uh, <laughs> Hoffecker. Right down there. Check out. That's our patreon.com slash CMC. If you want to help support the show, because we're literally sitting up here being dumbasses on camera for fun. Eric knows. And we get nothing for it. So, what the fuck? Why does it say show high? Oh, because there's probably too many oh, spannies. Sure. Um, so, there you go. That is it for... I think we're done for the month, right? Turn for the best, worst drinks. We'll be back June. We'll, we'll be having to do some July cocktails and some late June cocktails. Um, right below in the comments, what you guys like to see. Oh, it's Sal. Hi, Sal. Yeah, Hi, Sal. Sal. What? Sal. Is that the one we met? I think. This is the Sal that we Salvatore? met at Tails, right? In Tails. Oh, I Maybe. probably took the card out of my wallet. This you time. had his card? I did at one point. It's not in my In your though. wallet? Well, well Peggy, we're... you're already back. Well, some quick drinking. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. So, that's it, my friends. We'll see you next so maybe some filming. Um, maybe Dan will be here, probably. And Ian will probably be here, and so it's going to be Wait, weird. Wait, it depends on when it is. And because you don't want to be here when Dan's here? <laughs> no, I have a couple that. things coming up next month. In June? Yeah. Uh, June, end of June? Yeah, I'm going to be in... Uh... Mount Zion from the 22nd the to the Utah 29th, thing? yeah, and then the weekend before that, uh, well, the 22nd is my grandfather's service that I'm mm -hmm. not going to be around for, so I may be going up to Maine the week before that. So, Dan might be here next live stream. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to figure it out. Somebody will be here. I'll be here! Um, so that's it, my friends. Side that's was that the last one? Yeah. Crikey. Well, wait, you can we make could your do the Trinidad Sour. The oh, you can make your Trinidad we could record sour. it. We should do the Trinidad Sour with the library because I want it. I want, yeah. okay, oh, and the orange and the library. That's what we're going to do. 
Okay. So there might be an extra episode. Yeah. Because I might as well record it if we're doing Stay it. Stay tuned right? for the good stuff. It'll be uh, casual. It'll be casual common man cocktails. Yeah, exactly. More casual than normal. Sidebar, more videos down below. Austin Riggs Bartender Starter Kit. Go to you can use Spring 19 to get 50% off until June 30th. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink. Boom! Beep, beep. Made it. Made it. Today we're making a cocktail! Crocodile style! This drink Crocodile. is brown, but that's okay. Because it's a coffee stipe stipe type cocktail. He's not drunk, he really isn't. Yeah, three ounces of so rum. He just runs in the family. We it's, just can't talk. Yeah, just, you guys are talking in It's got three ounces of rum, but it's still in here. It is. That's because Jenna hasn't got her hands on it yet. Oh, that's right. You want some of this? You want, yeah. are you you want some of this? You want some of this? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> are you done your intro? It's a, <laughs> At this point, why not? Yeah. NT, NT. N22. 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 You said it, but you can't repeat it. That's right, I can't. <laughs> so, uh, I need Gentu, to... Gentu, Gentu. <laughs> So we're making a Trinidad rum sour, is that, or Trinidad whatever that is? I don't remember the proportions. I, I have the recipe. Do not so. you worry. Do you have the recipe? Is that something? Trinidad sour on this <laughs> recipe.awesomedrinks.com. Tipperary. You know, you go a long, long way to Tipperary. Why is this, this drink was made on the bar. Did we make this not that long ago? Mm. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's what he said. Who said? Go a long, long way to Tipperary. Forty people watching right now. There's a long way to Tipperary. Forty people. I'm sorry to all four of you. <laughs> hey you, now. Hey now. You know what's funny though? Just like on my we've been doing this for. I've got a trophy for doing this. It's kind of dirty. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you do. We've been doing this for a while, and we've never get more than forty to fifty live streams. All right. It's a diehard. Like we have hit the maximum peak of what we'll ever people get come to. People come. People go. But That's true. It maintains at forty. Yeah. Well, you know what's weird though? We've had salmon. You know we've had. This may be better with ice. Here, here. I guess mice no, in here. Put some ice in there. There's mice in here. I'm no. Gonna, <laughs> but this is the drink That's with the ice. I don't put just ice. I don't need more drink. Okay. No. I'm gonna put ice in. Take oh. an ice piece and put it in here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> we've had salmon. We've had. Are you happy now? Yes. <laughs> out of all the people we typically have. I'm trying to get rid of this. I know. Um, Eric, you know, Eric's kind of new. We used to have different Eric's. Um, Dave, who's that? David's in there. Warren's in there. Um, you know who's been around for a while? Trey. Trey's been around for a while. Yeah. No, I'm thinking Troy. Troy Cooks. Troy Cooks. Yeah, Troy Cooks. Yeah, but Troy hasn't been around like. Yeah, hey, it's been a little while. Like I'm three really years. I'm surprised maybe? that Ian knows that song. song. Ian knows a lot of weird songs. Ken, you know, I was born in Scotland. <laughs> what song are you talking about? You go a long, long way to Tipperary. It's a so it's, it's a Scottish song about a Scottish town. You know, I think it's Scottish, right? I may be wrong again, but I'm oh. like forty-four percent British Irish. You are, are you? Oh, I got my 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 His DNA work. My DNA. Good. I told you my story. All right. About DNA, Good. Right? Are you guilty work? or are you, <laughs> are you abdicated? No, he's he's off. They, they got he, off. I know why he's off. <laughs> <laughs> That's genetics. <laughs> no, oh, I dude. Saw that extra chromosome. That's why he's on. Dude, do you know the story about how I've been trying to get my DNA done since December <laughs> or, or November? <laughs> DJ's been around for a while too. Jen has been training order to prove it. Did we figure out that's the sal Ireland, same cell? Okay, thank you. Sorry. Is that cell? It's not the same cell, right? It is a different one. Okay. I don't know if you said. Um. So. Brandon, you know, doing good. you know about my like I put my DNA in the November and it failed over and over again. Well, that makes sense, but I didn't know that. No, like I don't have enough DNA in my saliva to like trace me. You know to what you do? Give a different DNA sample. They said, yeah. I asked that, that question. Help. They said they only could do saliva. Uh, <laughs> Did you really ask? Well, no, I, it's, in, semen? it's in oh, there. Look at that. I can't it out. What? It knew. Okay. In here, uh, doing a it's in the no. This it's in is the, dingy. It's in I gotta the, wash this thing. Look at this. It's in the frequently asked questions. They can only use. They can only use saliva. Mm. Okay. Um. So what are you doing? One serving. It's yep. one ounce of unsweetened oh, bitters. Are you this? Oh. Hold on. Let me let me take. Stop, this. Ian. Stop. You want? You don't have to turn those on. I'll just no, do this. You one. just do the. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Hold on. Oh, oh, are we actually filming? Is yeah, it? Yeah, we're not. 
Okay. Okay. Welcome to Cotton Man Cocktails. <laughs> Derek and Ian are going to do one extra cocktail for the night. This one's going to be done in a casual style because the normal stuff we do yeah. is so fucking professional. And by casual style, he well, means we're not really ready. On. We're going to have to pull ingredients as yeah. we're going. And yeah. So if so, you don't, if you're like, this is a fucking clusterfuck, that's what it's meant to be. If you yeah. don't like it, you can leave right now. It's intentional. I'm giving you the chance to out. So you can't bitch after second whatever number yeah. you're at. No money back on this one. No. All the others either. Just to be clear. <laughs> Fucking free! So we're making the Trinidad, Trinidad sour, sour, but instead of regular Ango, we're using Ango Orange. Right. And we're going to use the uh, Libra and Company uh, Orgeat, Orgeat yep. which is not like straight uh, filtered like the other stuff that you right. typically buy is. So I should probably get that then. So it's an ounce of Angostura. Yep. And that's an ounce of Orgeat. Yep. And then he's going to get a, some rye because it's a half ounce of rye. Yep. And it's three quarters of an ounce of uh, lemon juice. What do what do you guys what do you think about rye? Should we go with like a, a Canadian hundred percent rye yeah, or rye that yeah. it's a rye cocktail? So we could use if you want to my shit It's again. not all about the rye in this cocktail. I don't think so. No, it's all about our store. Rye is just there for like filler. Um, I could use. This is actually, I actually don't Wait, like was it a half cocktail. ounce of this or a half ounce of that? Oh, I'll, how much lemon? So I'm on recipe Oh, there you go. Steven said he's sticking around. Hey, Steven! Thank you for sticking around. Uh, I, I've got a lot of... If you're sticking around, I'm not doing a high five. What ride do you want to do? I'm trying to figure that out. It doesn't like, matter. We, we're doing James Pepper. <laughs> Just so we can get rid of it. I got wiggle! Save it for this. I got some stuff that uh, Dan sent me we still haven't reviewed yet. Whoa, from Australia. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Crikey! What the fuck time is it there? I know what time it is. It's like 9.30 in the morning. You're hardcore, man. Um, Getting up that early. <laughs> Taiwan whiskey. We haven't. Yet. We have to review this sometime. That'd be fun. Um, Get me a glass. What type of glass? Oh, uh, Trinidad sour. How many ounces? Can you get a cocktail glass. Yeah, I can give you that. I don't know about like a cocktail glass. Like martini glass. Fuck it. Those are dumb. They're right there. How about a? How about a? How about Nicanora? a? Two Nicanora. Three. It could fit in a in a normal one. Of these. We usually do them in the cocktail glasses, but whatever. Well, let's do it in the Nicanora. Right. I, mean, I already know the color is going to be off because the orange is clear. The orange bitters is clear. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but you got rye, so it should still be dark. But not dark like a angle bitter. No, That's true. Dark. So, the the trick is, so Angostura Orange was not a huge seller at AustinJace.com. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Solomon asked if the DNA's results were surprising or did it cement some lineage. I said, well, it showed the kids weren't his. <laughs> um, how are you reading that and, and paying attention to this? Because time? I can multitask like a motherfucker. <laughs> that trick is milky looking. This looks like the Orjot. Yeah, yeah, it does. So Angostura Orange is clear. That's interesting. Um, somebody wants to be friends with me mm. on Facebook. So. That's what the original one looks like. <laughs> you can't see it. I don't know I'll if you need the, the lemon juice. Try that's different and interesting at the same time. That's different interesting. It's floral. Mm. Um, it's citrusy. Oh, it's tasty. But it it's is not, good though. It's not a Trinidad sour taste. No. So what I was saying is these we used to sell these at AustinDrinks.com. Mm. I have a bunch of them because I don't know what to do with them. Um, they don't just didn't sell, so I stopped carrying them, and I had a couple left over that I never sold. So. What time is it here? 9.30? It is 9.30. Okay, so they're 14 hours ahead in Australia. So it's like 11. Well, where Aiden is in Australia, wherever that is. Yeah. We're in Australia. Western, I, Eastern, uh, you, I mean, Northern Territories. What are we talking about? Like a difference of a time zone of one? I don't know how many, how many time zones are there When you're 14 Australia? off, they got to be like two time zones. Maybe. Australia is pretty big. It's only worth a point in risk. That's all I know. It's fucking 14 hours away. It doesn't matter how many fucking... Fucking... Crazy wallabies over there. <laughs> so what we did. This is interesting. What we didn't do is we didn't make a regular Trinidad sour, but we don't have enough August sour to do it we don't, anyway. Which is why we made this. Oh, is that why we made this? Um, it's not as bitter as a Trinidad sour. So I was in New Haven. New Haven? That's Connecticut. I've been there. <laughs> You're like, Dude, really not that far away. Sal, you're only like an hour and a half. So that's not the cell we've been 
they No, he was, yeah. he was, I don't remember where he was, but he was Vegas not. or something, wasn't he? He was, was South yeah, he was Texas. Texas or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's not New Haven. New Haven, well, I had a customer in New Haven. Who, what college was in New Haven? Wait, North Southwest? <laughs> Wait a minute. About two hours. 3.30 in Germany. <laughs> what part of Germany oh, are you in? What's that current from Nemo? What? <laughs> that I didn't watch Nemo. Yeah. Oh, oh, you watch Nemo? You've never seen Finding Nemo? Movie. I watch good movies. <laughs> I'm sure Nemo. It's a movie. fucking classic. It's the current. I don't remember what the current is. Where are you in Germany? <laughs> so are you in a, a Hamburg, a Frankfurt, Cologne. A Berlin, Cologne, Munich? Uh, Munich? Dortmund. Yeah, Dortmund. Dortmund? Okay, well, what's it your closest familiar. city? Oh, New South Wales, thank you. That's not near it's Dortmund. It's 2.32 in the morning here, don't need sleep. Mund! Don't need sleep. What does Dortmund <laughs> mean? Does that mean that mouth? Like, near that mouth? New South Wales. And or their mouth. Not safe for work. <laughs> Jay for real. He's, he's one of our... He, Jay for real is one of the five people who pay us $5 a month on our oh, channel. Oh, awesome. That's right. Doug always liked New Zealand. Yeah, yeah he Australia, does. Australia, I know, but... So, East Australian current, thank you, Pablo. <laughs> I can't believe you couldn't come up with that. You had he was in Australia. Seriously? There is a current. Kind of near Cologne. Seriously. So a two, a two. <laughs> Kat's from Hamburg and she went to school in Cologne. Hamburg, you went to school in and Cologne. Dorman sounded Cologne? familiar. Yes, Ian said Finding Nemo's not a good movie. Uh, I just said. Chim. You know what? I never saw it, so I can't expect. Yeah. I can't believe you seen Finding Nemo. Have you ever been to Hamburg, Germany? Yes. I was there in February. You haven't been to Hamburg, Germany. Of course I have. I went to go visit Kat. We went to. She's from Hamburg. She was. Yeah, her family's from Hamburg. She oh. went to school in Cologne, and then we went to Berlin. Yeah. If she went to school in. Ver oh, I thought you were talking about them. Hey. What? I thought somebody in here was from Hamburg. Question. Near Dor We're down Dor the beach come from my side. Yeah. Would a light Puerto Rican rum replace a Cuban rum? Or is there a better substitute? A light Puerto Rican rum over a Cuban rum in a what? Don't beach come from my side. Mai Tai? <laughs> a Mai Tai works with any rum? Disagree, Pablo. Cuban rum? <laughs> I think Puerto Rican happens. rum? Same thing. Close, close enough. No, that's the shark. When he's trying to get Dude, the fish. Dude, you can't <laughs> fucking intertwine three stories together. <laughs> it's like Challenge lost. accepted. I, am I supposed to be? Am I supposed to be giving a Cuban rum substitution? We shall find a Nemo at IKEA. <laughs> a we went to a. We stayed at a hotel in Berlin, and they played the Big Lebowski at the end of hotels on twenty. Berlin's oh. nowhere near Hamburg. Yeah. Awesome. It was very cool. Well, we went to Berlin. It was a two-hour train ride. Yeah, it is. So I was there for a week, and we spent some time in Hamburg. Cold and some there. time in Berlin. It was cold. It was March. Yeah, I was there in February. That's close to March. Yeah. Um, Only off by a month. <clears throat> My math is correct. <laughs> His fucking math sucks. <laughs> it's better than mine. Um, what do you think? It's not bad. It's different. I think it is definitely. I different. don't know if we need the lemon juice with the citrus. Because there's too much citrus. Orange. So wait, you did the orange? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like Tormund's giant's milk. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Hey. Could call back. Thank there. you, David. Oh, tippy time. Tippy gal. Oh, you were like ninja on that one. Yeah, and that was only one of them. What? Ian doesn't need Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you pulled up as a fist. Black power. Easy to kill her. Wakanda. That's Wakanda. That, that's Black Panthers. Yeah, that, that was no. That was just my blackout moves coming out. Sorry. Ian doesn't that's need Nemo in his life. He's more Boondock Saints. Welcome, Aiden. Oh, new member. Oh, look, we Aiden. have somebody who wants to pay us five dollars a month. Nice. Oh wait, that links to your Patreon. No? no, that's it's a, that's the monthly one. It's a, you get the Ian emote. <laughs> if you oh. join, that's the one. If you join, that's like right if you there. Join on, uh, for just five dollars a month, you two can feed a Derek who needs money for <laughs> coffee. For lunch. Wait, no, that's not how it is. Is the big woman still here? <laughs> <laughs> how do you not love torment? <laughs> He's great. No, be like, Jamie likes the big woman. Be like torment. But then he went back to see her, so you need to die. No, that's what he gets. Oh, well, fucking, uh, spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> fucking, come on with the spoiler yeah, say alert. Say spoiler alert first, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't watched it by now, then don't watch the internet. <laughs> don't watch the internet. If you don't want to know what's happening in Game of Thrones, disconnect yourself from the fucking internet. Well, yourself. yeah. Yourself. There you go, Dave, for real. That has wow, <laughs> that's saying something. I spent $5 on some fines, too. <laughs> fines? Some good fines that, for five, five bucks. Oh. Spent it when I think of fines, I think of like a little, like a little pinner, like a little. 
Nope, nope, no, nope, don't do that. So, what I don't understand, he, he donates and you just start fucking taking uh, off your clothes? Obviously, Derek is Tyrion. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Let me tell you what, best fucking Dan character in Game of Thrones. <laughs> I can tell totally see that. I can totally see that. That's totally right. Yeah, he, he's fucking is, telling you shit behind your back. Yeah. Dude, dude, you gotta really fucking get no, that. No, Chris would be better Littlefinger. Uh, Chris would be, uh, no, he would be uh, Baratheon. Loud, obnoxious. Yeah, I don't know, just Chris brash. loves gossip. He does, but, but I mean, he's, he's Who a would Baratheon. you be if you were a he Game of the Thrones character? King Baratheon. I would be uh, I Tyrion. I could totally see myself as Tyrion. I'm, I'm, I'm charismatic. Hmm. I'm, it's not a slam. You're the hey, shortest of all us. I'm the tallest Lannister. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> uh, Again, if you don't watch the internet. <laughs> Derek drinks and he knows things. Who's That's, oh, I'm the, I'm the other star! Hey, Diana said he didn't take off his clothes when she... I'm was. the three-eyed oh. raven, oh, okay. bitches! When I drank, I'm the three-eyed raven. <laughs> the brand? Go, yeah, yeah. The brand. That's you asked for it. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you know it's what? Getting hot here. He hasn't learned yet. That this is fucking stupid. I once upon a time when flip phones were a thing, I remember when you were cleaning the toilet. Boop, oh, right out of the pocket. This. Look at the Wait, cracks on the back of this thing. I have Holy to be shit. Cersei or the mother of dragons. Why? Either one. Well, you don't want to be Cersei. I don't know. I'm pretty mean. How about your Shay? Okay. <laughs> Shay. Okay. I think that's the black armor. You were with Tyrion for a while, and then you got murdered. Oh, that's her. Yeah. No. <laughs> I would be a less fat hot How about uh, Marjorie You need Tyrell. to show that comment. That would be Marjorie Tyrell. Oh, I could be Marjorie Tyrell. Kind of smart, not yeah, really in the I forefront. Could, yeah. uh, ultimately killed. I could be but, Tyrell, yeah. Yeah, you could be Marjorie. Because I would kill Jamie. <laughs> Three Mile Island, Long Island Ice Tea. Good call, Aiden. That's going back. Wow. <laughs> See? Be a less fat hot pie. Hey, I would be a more fat things. hot pie. Actually, hey, are we still recording? Who would I, who would I say I, I was? I'm still recording. Who was I going to be? You, you didn't oh, say. Oh, Curtis is berries. Yeah, yeah. Curtis is berries. Dibs on the hound. Curtis is berries. Hound. You can be the hound. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, but you're not yeah, violent enough. You just died in a fire. Spoiler alert. Yeah, but you're Spoiler alert <laughs> first. <laughs> you're getting better. Oh, that's how that works. <laughs> Wait a minute. So how can you get to be the hound and you don't even like the, like, argue with people because I fucking hate cunts. Yeah. <laughs> right. I want to kill people. Arya. All right, Arya. Yeah. All right, all right. Because he's got a good heart. Let's let's yeah. figure this rough. out. If you he's were got a Game beard, of Thrones character, he's big. He's big. the Hound, I'm Tyrion. Right, you know what? She's Hold her. Tyrell. No, Hold on. Hold so on. so do we decide? I Dan saw Hoder when we were driving in the bike show last Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so do we decide that Dan is <laughs> his Ramsey Bolt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, Dan's, Theon. Dan's not mean enough, and he's no, not Theon meek is... enough to be Theon. No, so... Theon's just pathetic. <sighs> he was well, good in the end. He had the best character arc the whole show. He went from annoying brat to someone he really hated, someone you started to really feel bad for, you started to root for in the end, I and then he did, a, he did a heroic sacrifice knowing it was just buying time, hoping I... that something was going to happen. Yeah, I, I, I thought he was kind of a dumbass for that. He was a dumbass. <laughs> Yeah, he made uh, amends. He was making amends I, the whole time. So, do you think Dan is, is. Does Dan make a, the best little finger then? I think so. I can't I really. I think he does. What, what about. Uh, what, yeah. what about. Uh, what about. Uh, Stannis' sidekick there? The only one that's still alive from the there. Young, Davos yeah. Seaworth? Yeah. Davos, yeah. I could be Davos too. Yeah, you, yeah, you could probably Davos. be a better Davos yeah. than the Hound. Because Davos plays in the background yeah. and he says wise yeah, things he every now and then. Like confrontation. Mm. He's a thief. Yeah. Right. You have a knife. And? Uh, that's the I'm a fighter. <laughs> you have a and knife? You're a thief. I you can... don't fight shit! I've... You don't fight I shit! Could. I've trained... I know people like you. I've trained as a fighter, so maybe I could. That doesn't mean bullshit. I've trained fighters that are your size, and they don't know how to fight either. Because you guys never had to be scrappy little motherfuckers like we did. You didn't get this picked on. But I've also been training since I was 11. I know! So, but... so I can fight. I have to train people now, and when there's big, I huge agree. dudes big in there, not they don't know they how, how to punch. They but, don't know how to but fight. He knows how to punch. Come on. Well, yeah, yeah. But he's been training for a while. A lot of these people who have yeah, but exactly, he's been training for a That's while. That's what I'm saying. I'm a big guy who actually knows how to fight. I Very few. Very few. Very few. Fight if no, no, right. He could, the, which yeah. is why I think he's Davos. Yeah, you could be Davos. You're Davos. That's it. You have no choice yes. but to accept it. I will be Leon Mormont. You're Lyanna the Mormon. onion. I, I do. She was badass. That girl was awesome. She was stupid. She was aw She was she a was ten year old stupid. girl who's 
badass. I, I love it. I, you don't want to be her. She's a, a I want to be Arya. Of course you do. Everyone wants everybody to be Arya. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> wants to be Arya. You don't get to be Arya. I love Arya. You can be the Queen of Dragons, but you can't be Arya. No, I so like now Arya I can't better. be Gendry because we know each other too well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's you have made a set. You've made a dagger. I'm Arya. It's meant to be. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. Yeah. You, you it's made not a, my fault. You, you, you made a weapon before. I have made weapons. I do make weapons. But you're still the Onion Knight. The Onion Knight. Yeah, that was the Onion Knight. Yeah, the Onion Knight. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for following along. Derek trains people to fight. We need to know more. I've trained oh, people to fight. I'm a, I'm a martial arts instructor. Okay. That counts for something. That's I'm like the guy that dances. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was trying to think his name. It's not Sergio. It's uh, uh, Pharrell. Sergio Pharrell or whatever his name was. Yeah, he didn't do he, any. He trained Aria to, the, oh, to the water faceless, dance. The no, the water dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in the very, the yeah, very, very beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Teaches Aria. Yeah, yeah, he was cool too. Yeah. The faceless guy was pretty cool too. Yeah. 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 Ye
Sorry, uh, right. it's not your fault you have an accent. Jane. That's right. It's is not Matt... my fault. I'm from my parents are from Mass. Do we have a Matt in the chat room? Fishbowl. That was a fun one. Mm. Brown of Toth. Matt. The fish go Yeah, Brown of Toth was cool. Matt Zidor. Zidor. Shit's just. Jalitha would be Cersei. So. Yeah, <laughs> could be Cersei. <laughs> so Matt just donated. Which would, would make Dan Jamie. Oh! Oddly enough. That wouldn't be right. Wait, who's Jaleetha? Maybe he could be uh, your own. Cersei. Oh, God, yeah. She, oh, Jaleetha would be a good Cersei. Yeah, Jaleetha could be <laughs> Like, if you were to say Jaleetha, Cersei, or, I'd be like, yeah, fuck you know, yeah. Her, despite the age, she'd make a good Elena Tyrell. Oh, my. Could you imagine yeah. Jaleetha yeah. sitting in front of the window just drinking wine? Yes! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Saying, it was me. Yeah. yeah. I want him to know it was me. The whole time. Uh, the Ironborn are gonna get them. The Ironborn Oh, you could be Yara, Jen. So Yara Greyjoy, J for real. Oh yeah, I could do. Yeah, I could do that. No, yeah. no, that's stupid. Because I would be the king of the Iron War, or right. queen of the Iron. Right. And she's kind of like a powerful, she like is. no she's nonsense, badass. badass woman. J for reals. Uh, it's not an insult. No. The I can make I, recipe to acidrace dot com an app. I don't for know your the eyes value. Only. What's LA the value? Angel. What would you want it to do? Nice reference, Sal. Uh, be, oh Jesus, fuck. Uh, because I can make it an app. It's on my list of things to do. It would just be basically a cached version. Or um, what's the we what's the non geeky what's the non geeky <laughs> thing to say about cached? What's cached? The, stored it stored a locally lot. stored version of the recipe Wait, database. Brian, did you just make the drink that we made? Just so where's Matt? This guy Matt just donated five hundred dollars to the show. Holy shit! He said he's been watching since twenty eleven. $500? Holy shit. That's what it says. $500. Well, thank you. That's awesome, man. Matt, are you in, like, here? <laughs> I, I haven't seen anybody named Matt, but he could be anonymous. Anybody, but he could not be talking. I mean, what's the chance that somebody donates that right now? Hey, like, if you're there, Matt, thank you. That's a hell of a lot of money. Show. Sex in the driveway? Yeah, I just had to click the show. Wait, you're no. quicker than I am. <laughs> uh, it was my mouse person. was <laughs> Start like, oh, slapping. Oh, there he is! That's a hundred slaps. Five hundred rupees. <laughs> I'm not. I'm sorry, Matt, but I'm not taking five hundred fucking high fives, <laughs> or whatever it is, fifty. <laughs> I agree. It should be an app, and could it also link to the store if possible? <laughs> yeah, it would link to the store if I made an app. Cause that. I, well, here's the thing. I have the. I have the technology. I found a way to Are create an app. Over Don's, and oh, place? Um, it's in. My, no, I've had it bookmarked for a while. Because I'm gonna fall asleep. Uh, be an anti -anti night. <laughs> but to make it an app, so I could do it on an Android night. and an iOS. I think with an app, if I use the specific uh, API that I think I can code it in, uh, and it would just be cached, I guess, and just update every now and then with the latest recipes. Offline would be cool. Basically, you have quick access to the recipes without going to recipe.awesomedrinks.com. I know, but like, like you can make an app that literally all it does is go to the website. Like, it's, uh, but that's kind of cheesy. That's what they're saying. They need <laughs> Derek has to do 500 milliliters of Campari. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a almost a bottle of Campari. I could do that if you. L.A. Confidential, Fleur de Lis, forever yours. Did you see L.A. Confidential? Nope. No. Okay, here's a movie. <laughs> I know it's a movie, but I haven't. I haven't seen any movies. I've seen Finding Nemo. That guy Pierce and. Dan. I like that. Um, How did you do that? Dan did you hit show? Yeah, I did. How the fuck? Um, the other movie with the. The wave. <laughs> not a cocktail. It, oh, Coyote Ugly. That's <laughs> not cocktail. Like that. That's cocktails. It's a bar. I, no cocktail. It is a bar. I know Tom it's Cruise. not cocktail. That's Tom Cruise. All right. That's a different. Right, look at the Campari. Where is it? I'm not liters. drinking 500 milliliters or silly liters. That's not good part. I'm not drinking 500 milliliters of water for that fucking alcohol. That's just crazy. That's not very grateful. I don't know. That's, not <laughs> you, that's it. You know what? If Eric, No, I couldn't do that. Even if everybody donated $500, I couldn't drink an entire bottle of anything. Hey, you could. You'd die. Yeah, it would be really bad for my liver after a couple of weeks of making money. Don't talk to me about bad for your liver. <laughs> What, what, why can't I talk to you about bad for my liver? Because I have a bad liver. I used to drink. Everybody used to drink. That doesn't mean you have a bad liver. You can have a bad liver just for having a bad liver. Maybe your liver just sucks. Yeah, but I wouldn't know it. Then Derek should drink a shot of Campari and the vodka ghost pepper. Oh, I can't drink a mm. shot of vodka ghost pepper. To a 649? Is that like a 720 minus half turn? <laughs> 
That's five. Bartender stands facing the bar and counts off the bottles: six from the left, four from the right, nine from right. Six, Wait, four, nine. Six, four from the right, nine from the right. Oh, I see yeah. what you're saying. Six from the left. ounce of each bottle into a shot glass. Four, five, six. So that's Campari. That's the left. That's Campari, Hamilton 141. Wait, what? You're reading And she, Green Shot Fruits. What are you talking about? That's your shot. Bartender faces the cons. all the there, so oh. it's like a cocktail book on the go. It wouldn't be a cocktail book on the go. I could do that. I, it's on my list of things to do. I just have this thing called work. <laughs> And I'm also doing web design for that. There you go, 151 shot with a screaming high five chaser. <laughs> I think I have to drive, but you can do that. Yeah. I have faith in you. What? Where are all these words? I say, I'm still on 649. 151 chase. Well, Second from the bottom. There's it. No. Uh, There's a bottom. video. 151 shot with a screaming high five chaser. What shot the fuck is a screaming high five chaser? I'll show you. <laughs> so wait, you just give me a normal high five and I trend a shot at 151? Yeah, we'll get That's in. fucking dumb. That's boring. There like, you go. I think we can all agree that Dan can pass, that Derek can pass a drink off to Dan Podrick when he comes over next month. <laughs> Dan Podrick is his new name. We're gonna call him Pod. DP. Yeah, I'll have to tell Dan. Yeah, DP. <laughs> DP, how's it going? Do you want to pour these back into the... Yeah. Yeah, keep these? Sure. Okay. Hey, Dan, we have decided that you are Podrick from Game of Thrones. Comma. That Sorry. is your character, and now you must own it. <laughs> Period. Oh, and by the way, you're now DP. <laughs> oh, my God. It even puts the pineapple and the heart in there. Because it's, it's associated with the name. Oh, that's Padrage. Yep. Yeah, because it's gonna recognize those names. <laughs> By the way, you're Brienne of Tarth. Yeah. By the way, bring the tarp. <laughs> you just got DP'd. Just got... <laughs> Wait, what? You got double penetrated? <laughs> no, Dan Podrick. Oh. You're you have a penis in your asshole right now. <laughs> but you can't be double penetrated because you don't have a well, vagina. That could be true. So you must have to penis. use your mouth. Don't tell him what DP means, so he'll think it's Deadpool. Yeah, Dan has no idea what DP means. <laughs> His mind's not dirty yeah. at all. No, no, oh, no. you must not know Dan. <laughs> you must be new here. Got some, got some Dan stories I can't share under penalty of perjury. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Doggy pounded. That's pretty much the same thing. Oh, you misspelled uh, the hound. <laughs> the Davos. <laughs> or, okay. Yeah. How do you misspell the Is hound? Is Ian Davos or the hound? <laughs> question mark. Get it? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, I asked a question over text. And they Shut said, up! No. You, you say you misspelled yes. <laughs> it says get it because you said that. DP sex plays with soy sauce. He learned from Doug's head tie. <laughs> tentacle porn. Bring on the tentacles. <laughs> Is that the tentacles? <laughs> Whatever. It's all the same. Ian literally just walked off because he's going to play the guitar. Because his feet hurt and now he's gonna sit down he and play guitar. Ah. Uh, Do you have an acoustic or do you have a uh <laughs> got an acoustic. You did it? Yeah, I got it. I don't think I'd use soy sauce in any sex play, personally. It's easier to build the calluses than yeah, the it's, it's harder, yeah. Because it's harder, yeah. <laughs> That's enough internet I'm for the day. Oh, yeah, Ian has never used a pick oh, before really? playing guitar. You're weird. I have a half a grapefruit I gotta squeeze now. So, uh. Wait, you never ended your episode. <laughs> no, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. I come to the soy sauce. <laughs> Show. Oh, oh, you did it first. No, you did. I didn't even get to the. You had another monitor in your hand at this. Oh, uh, it wasn't Somebody me. Somebody else got to it then. Because I, I, w I literally was going over to it and click on it. There's another one. But why does it keep asking for moderate? So much. Why does <laughs> it want to moderate? Like, I don't understand why it's asking. He said nothing that's moderate or required. Yeah, I don't know. Soy sauce is a fucking swear now? Oh, sex play? Yeah, but that was the original one. I don't know. Grapefruit sex play. I don't know about grapefruit sex play. There's still a lot of acidity in a grapefruit. I don't think I want that near my dick. What are you guys streaming here? Oh, we're done streaming. Oh, we're, well, we were originally streaming cocktails, because that's what we do here. Now we're just fucking 
talking to people who happen to be in the live stream while he plays guitar, and I sit in front of this thing drinking pure fucking hundred and, I don't know, proof bourbon. Diana says, oh my god, the video of the oh. lady grapefruiting is hysterical. I don't know what the lady grapefruiting is. I don't know what that is. I know Lemon Party, unfortunately. That's where the old guys are sucking each other's dicks, right? What? You gotta Google it. See, when I when I used to work at Acopia back in the day, we would send people, we would send each other weird shit in AOL Instant Messenger or email, and and we would put like Lemon Party and all these weird websites and Goat See and all this stuff, and like links to work stuff, and so you'd click on it and it would bring you to the fucking bad images, and you're like ah, and it would burn your eyes. We had to stop doing that when we went public, or when we got bought by FI, which was public, so we weren't able to send dirty pics anymore in the email. And <laughs> have the sound up. <laughs> no, I do know what blue waffle is. What? <laughs> oh no, not Gozi. But what? Wh which grapefruit video is this? Oh, we watch his face. Just YouTube grapefruiting. Yeah, grapefruiting. Why would it be on YouTube? It's not a sex thing then. Well, it's an instructional video, but there's no genitalia, so you're. <laughs> okay. Trust Wait. Me. You've done this? <laughs> we talked about it on the radio, and I'm like, I gotta listen to it, so. Cool. What's your favorite cocktail? Ian likes Trinidad Sour. I like Manhattan as a go-to. Yeah, he likes Manhattan. Uh, my favorite cocktail, I don't really know. You also like the... Dorchester. Cadillac. Yeah. You want to know what our favorite cocktails are? We have to redo this. I don't know if anything has changed, but I have a... If you go to homecocktailmenu.com... Uh, going for... Uh, this is year... 11? I want to say. Google we started in 2008. It's safe for work. I doubt that. <laughs> um... There was another, oh yeah, homecocktailmenu.com. You can download the CMC Banger book. It's free. Unless you want to give me money for it. That's fine. Um, that'll have all of our last known greatest cocktails that we liked. But you can kind of read to. When you, when you grapefruit your man, it's like you're giving him head and fucking him at the same time. She's man. super serious about this. <laughs> like, it's like a how-to video. Yeah. You've watched this? Was she in a pink tube top? How many liver transplants? None. I don't drink that much. Just I can hear it. <laughs> Motherfucker! I just poured this fucking shit. Oh, my God! This is golden right now. So serious, I just poured bourbon on my shirt for a second time. Wait till the end? So she's putting a grapefruit on a plate. This is like, I've done this shit. Derek started in the attic, moved to a basement, emerged into a full-fledged bar. That's true, you did. That's kind of how it went down. I started in the attic, then I switched to the other side of the attic. And then I uh, moved down and I was over in the corner there for a while, for like three years while my dad finished the bar. Dad built the bar. So you cut both sides off the grapefruit. I'm halfway there. <laughs> so I take the knife. Is this a sexual thing? Cut a dick hole on the grapefruit. Did she say that? I think she said that. Now, Something about making a big enough for penis. <laughs> <laughs> I started watching when he was in the attic. Well, you've been, a while, you've been around for a while, Diana. Really? Were you on our live streams back then? Is that the price tag on the bottom of the glass? No, this is the number from our blind tasting we did earlier. <laughs> it's a yellow sticky. So... Is this just making a fucking vagina? Is that what we're doing here? Wait, is she gonna fuck a grapefruit? No, she's not because she doesn't have a penis. She doesn't have a penis. That's she's true. making a vagina out of a grapefruit. Wait, you can have a strap on. Okay, but that's not what's happening here. <laughs> because. What the hell are you making? Why is she so serious? No, he's not making anything. He's making I'm just watching a video. YouTube video while drinking. Bourbon, son of a bitch, I spilled it again! Is there a hole in here? Then it'll get me some mezcal. 
Please Wait. don't do anything insane while I'm gone. Hold on, I think I just missed her mouthing a fucking dildo. Wait a minute. <laughs> wow, what a time to come into the live stream. <laughs> she has a dildo. Wait, did you just see with the grapefruit? Listen. That's her sucking on a dildo. <laughs> I have a bunch of Norlin glasses now, Solomon, because they did a sponsorship. I still haven't built them. What the fuck? I mean, I've been desperate, but not that desperate. <laughs> no, it's not for you. It's for, it's for the says Nate. Wait, wait, wait. Why does she have to be so loud about it? Did she really do that? That's funny. <laughs> That's what makes it funny. Derek, Derek, let me explain it to you. Did you get it? It's <laughs> funny because she's making something very, very fun, something serious. It's the right? SMR of it. <laughs> There's definitely some SMR. But I'm like, if she was no. going down on you, it's like a fucking tiger. AMSR. SMR. Wait, AMSR. SMR. ASMR. I'm missing an A, whatever. That was some seriously fucked up shit. I don't. I don't like ASMR. You are. If you're watching, you're watching Sesame Street with cocktails. Is that how you give good head by practicing a grapefruit? No, you use a grapefruit like a vagina while you're giving a blowjob. But supposedly, it's pretty impressive. I have a vagina. Yeah, but if you don't want to use it. Yeah, but you can't use a vagina and give a blowjob. Right, you can't use a grapefruit and a vagina at the same time. Wait, no, you can. You can't use a mouth and a vagina at the same time. No, there's no way. Because you can use a mouth and vagina at the same time. Because the vagina has to go first, and your mouth can't fit on it because there's another human on there. I haven't played pool in forever. We have to go play pool. Well, then you need to fucking schedule some shit. I will. I'm waiting. And I'll make Ian come, because Ian's a good pool player. Crazy, one day. I haven't played in years. I haven't played in years either. So we can play together. I'm not as drunk as I... <laughs> See, you said okay. I will remind you of this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... I understand. <laughs> One, two, three, four grapefruit strap ons. That is pretty much what I just watched. I don't know how that happened. Getting and drunk on Sesame Street? What is wrong with you, Jackal? Well, it's something to do. Or you could be like my daughter when I ask her that and she says so many things. <laughs> That's in the Pulse album. It's uh, a momentary, momentary lapse or division Momentary lapse? What you're playing right there is on the turning away. Oh, ah, uh, turning away. Momentary lapse of reason. Yeah. What did you say? Delicate sounds of thunder. No, he said momentary lapse or pulse oh. or uh, division bell. Yeah. You said pulse. It's division bell then. Momentary lapse of reason. No. no. I get it mixed up. On the turning pulse. away is. I'm gonna go with what is. No, I think that's. Division bell. I don't it's, think it's one so. Of the two. Somebody help me out here. I don't think so. I think it's the momentary. On the lapse turning away. On the turning away. Momentary lapse of reason? On the no. On the yeah, you're right. It's probably it's probably on the it's probably older. It's division. It's uh whatever I said before that. Momentary, Momentary lapse, lapse of reason. reason. Yeah. Does Ian take requests? Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes. if he knows the song. <laughs> Ian, did you see that I got the new Weezer album? And I got a physical That's album. But, but, did you see it? Did, did, did you see I it? I haven't heard it. Yeah. I have a record player now. It's all covers. I listen to Spotify covers. and oh, yeah, records. Yeah. That's the Teal album. He does all covers. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta listen Starts to Teal. Africa. You're on mute. I can't hear you. <clears throat> well, that's your problem, Nick. Bye, Steven. See you later. Weezer still make albums. They made an album called the Teal album. It's a cover. It's the one that has the Africa song on it. Uh, what's the name of the song? It's animals, right? No, that's it's from Toto, but the song is Toto. <laughs> animals is uh. Diane. What's that song going down in New Orleans? We have four kids. When they were in elementary school, I made a drinking game. Each time kids said, "But why?" I would drink. Hubby had to deal with them after about an hour of the game. <laughs> and you read music or use tabs? Uh, and uses tabs because reading music is dumb. Ian what? Can... I think I'm 
we get one bourbon, one scotch, and one beer? <laughs> I can read music, but I would rather use tab because I'm never going to compose chords from music. Sheet music. I use tab and chords. Oh, the TLC song is actually pretty cool that Weezer covers. The Africa... Yes, it's uh, Toto Africa. But what's the other song from the animals? Cost of the Rising Sun. Yes! Thank you! That's all I wanted to fucking know. <laughs> Yes, everybody can play House of the Rising Sun because it's like A, C, A minor, D, C, D, 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 F, A, E, A, E minor, A. So it's A minor. Yeah, D, D, C, D. You're right. F. F, which, which F do you play? Do you play that one? Which F do you play? Yeah, there's like, there's a whole bunch oh, of them. Whole, you can do the bar, you can do F is a bitch. Uh, F and B is a bitch. Well, I don't mind F so much. It's B up here. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt for me. So I do B7 instead. Yeah. I usually do B7. It goes back to A minor. Well, yeah. Right. But then the... Then you have to go like... Do, 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 like E. And then... Repeat back through it. Yeah, there's... I taught it to Liam... And then he kept forgetting it. Now he's playing. No, so Weezer didn't do a didn't do a cover of House of the Rising Sun. No, uh, Five Finger Death Punch did though. Uh, who did a cover? I'm gonna say Five Finger Death Punch. Down in the woods. Uh, I don't know, but Disturbed does a lot of good covers. I don't know the words, but they're st they're playing in my head. I just can't remember how to say it, what, what the words are. I am still living with your ghost. ghost. <laughs> Hungry and Who is it? It's Everclear. Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Uh, Everclear. It's in one of my playlists. Just cheers. Shot was pretty good. Yeah, this this curb this curb. That's candle box! Fuck oh, you, bitches! Is it disturbed the one that does um Disturbed does shout, they do well, si they silence, sounds of silence. Better, so they do the sounds of silence, but is they, are they Better Son too? Better Son? Or the, the Leonard Skinner song. No, that's Simple Man. Simple Man, Simple Man is done by, uh, it's a, uh not Seether, uh. That's not Disturbed? No. no. Simple Man, Johnny Cash. Yeah, disturbed didn't sound of silence. So Johnny Cash Hurt, I like the cover from, um, Seven, Sevenfold. Hurt? So Nine Inch Nails did it originally. Johnny Cash covered it. It's one of Wait, Hurt? Yeah, that's a Nine Inch Nails song. Why would Johnny Cash cover a Nine Inch Nails song? Because he did this whole series of albums called The American Albums. Oh, it's Joan Sowers. Oh. Covers. So he covered no. like, uh, you know, I Hung My Head by Sting. He did a whole bunch of cool covers. Really? Yeah, Hurt was one. Oh, was Shine Down. Shine Down! Yeah. Shine Down, that's, yeah. That Shine Down Simple made Man. Simple Man better than Leonard Skinner yeah, could do. Yeah, I like Shine Down's version better than Leonard Skinner's version. Drop in place. That's uh, I have that album. I have that on a CD. I was gonna get disturbed on LP, but I think it's gonna make my uh, my needle bounce. I hate because it's too loud. Luke loves like, so I did some research. Bass and loud take up more space on an LP, which is weird. Like, cause because of the 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 wave, the 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 length of the wave is longer, so it takes more space across an LP. Oh, really? Than a, than a quieter song. Disturbed did a good cover of Land of Confusion by Genesis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, to get the Genesis song for Land of Confusion, you had to wait like three minutes at the end of one of their albums. I don't know. No, I don't know if I've heard the Disturbed version. Yeah, you have. Yeah. I, have. I have every Disturbed. You've heard it because it's not called Land. It's not called Land of Confusion. I don't think it's called like L C L O C. Or it's they. I think they put the acronyms in there. It's it's like it's one of those stupid hidden tracks that you have to wait till the end of the album for like a minute and a half, and then they start playing it. You saw Leonard Skinner. Why? I don't understand why that was. I had to say. I don't. I don't know. There's no keywords in there that are. Oh, maybe up. Uh, no, I, I don't block that one. Saw Leonard Skinner. I saw Pink Floyd in 1994, but I never saw Leonard Skinner. <laughs> we saw. Godsmack, and we had to remove yeah. ourselves from the very front. We the saw, saw Disturbing Fuel on my 21st birthday. Did you? I saw Fuel. You I saw Metallica. Fuel? No, I saw Metallica. Uh, it was a three show. It was, Bye, Aiden. I went there for... Uh, college, right? Huh? And like, uh, what was the town near college? Keene? Like Fairgrounds. 
No, we, it was in Mass. We, we played it at Great. It was at Great Woods. I was Crowley. Yeah yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. The same place we saw Red Hot Chili Peppers, I think. But yeah. it was uh, Metallica. It was uh, Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains when yeah. he was doing his tour because Lane Staley was dead. I, what and, did you go know with John? Huh? Yeah. You went. You drove down to Pennsylvania to meet people or something, didn't you? No, we went down to North. We went further than that. We were down in North Carolina, South Carolina. And then, or, you know, whatever. Not for a concert, just to play music. I haven't seen Disturbed, but we saw. No, we saw Red Hot Chili Peppers. I saw Metallica, saw Days in the New. Last for a set. <laughs> I saw Tool in Manchester. Okay. I didn't see Tool, but I, I saw. saw I saw A Perfect Circle, in like Burlington. I don't remember the fuck. I was. saw Justin Bieber last year. Justin Did you Bieber? really, Texas? I was like, no, you didn't. I would have known that. No, Texas. <laughs> I love when people still call it Great Woods. Dude, what is it called now? Tweeter Center? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, still a, it's a different name now, but it's Great Woods. Is that showing my age? Yeah. I saw a lot of more set in Great Woods. And we Dave Matthews Band. We, yeah, we saw Dave Matthews Band a few times. Both in Great Woods, right? Yeah. Both With uh, Bella Fleck and the Fleck Tones. Both on the lawn. And there was somebody else. Well, some Foo Fighters. <laughs> saw Rush. Yeah. Um... We Incubus. Else saw Incubus. I've seen Gosmack like <laughs> three times. Playground came to Keen. Yeah. I was sick for that. I hated that. That was cool. You before. <laughs> yeah, I saw you two before they were huge. Dude, Bye, I. Bye, guitar girl. See you later. <laughs> oh, is it Twitter Center? Twitter Center? Or Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> it was the Twitter Center. Twitter no, I don't think it was the Twitter center. Twitter wasn't a thing. It's still Great Woods. Whatever it's down. Down. No it's lights! Woods. No music! Just like her! We were Twitter, on the lawn yeah. for something and I had to go back to because everybody pushed forward and I'm like, no, I can't deal with this. <laughs> yeah. It, the lawn, when we were having issues in the lawn, and we always get stuck behind drunk people. Um, yeah, we're there early, so that we're might have been a lot of more set, or one of the. Do we see Dave Matthews once? I think we saw him twice at the Great at Greatwoods. Fucking auto crash. Ah, I got it. Damn it, Stevie Wonder. I'd like to see Billy Joel, but I'm not paying the money. Eh, very funny, Texas. <laughs> huh? I saw Stevie uh, Wonder, too bad he didn't see me there. <laughs> so Sal finally watched the grapefruit video. Sal, you're so... That's like so old now. Derek was today years old when he heard about that. Dude, I didn't know... What, what, I don't know, like, really? On YouTube? I, it was a little weird to just to go. <sighs> that was kind of. Oh, it's Xfinity Center now. Really? Huh? Comcast bought that. <laughs> or oh, the the rights, the naming rights. Too. Yeah. I saw Iron Maiden. I've never, I've never was an Iron Maiden. We've seen a few shows at Great Woods. Great Woods? Yeah. Well, what's now? What, when we used Center, to like what it was Great Woods. When it was. Great I've seen Metallica yeah. Days of New and. Uh, Mansfield Mass. Uh, where did we see Pink Floyd? Oh, we saw that no, in, in where, Foxborough. Foxborough, right? That was yeah. in Foxborough. Which is now Gillette. Gillette Stadium? Foxborough doesn't well, we didn't, we didn't say Gillette Stadium. It exists though. anymore. We saw the old Foxborough Yeah, it was the stadium. old Foxborough, but now it's Gillette. Which is redone. I'm not getting that. That's you. Huh? It says show or hide. Oh, I didn't have... It wasn't there yet. Really? Oh, another mother. Somebody else beat me! I'm going to Billy Joel next Friday. How much does it cost for Billy Joel? Wait a minute. I... Here is... Does that say New Kids on the Block? Debbie Gibson? Salt and Pepper? Oh, Naughty by Nature? Dude! That's the mixtape tour! That's awesome! That's the mixtape tour! I don't want to see yeah. Naughty by... I, I, don't, I want to see Naughty by Nature, but I wouldn't care about New Kids on the Block or Debbie Gibson. Salt Tiffany? and Pepper would be okay. <laughs> yeah. I heard about the mixtape tour. I just wouldn't go, but... Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody in Nickelback? Yeah, I was in KOTV, Debbie Gibson, Salt and Pepper, Naughty by Nature, and Tiffany. 
Why, when you say Nickelback, why do you need to have an emoji of a girl and then a male sign, or is that a female sign? Is Nickelback a girl band? Besides yes, the fact that Nickelback's it's a guy. Nickelback's a girl band. They were big in strip clubs for a long time. Let me tell you. Because a porn bet. star? No, that's not. A dance I like song, Nickelback. Who sings porn star dancer? That's like the that. singer from Nickelback, but it's not Nickelback. Oh, doesn't count. It's a different band. I had Nickelback CDs, like the first one. I like them. I like Nickelback. You know what the problem is? They all sounded like the same. Too big, too fast. Yeah. And burned out, became a cliche. So. Kind of like, well, like it's uh, like Creed. 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 Did I you like say Creed? Creed and not many people. My own prison. Great album. I had yeah. a couple albums. The only ones I still stuck with from that time period was probably Godsmack. Like I Ian, bought. Are you a Sturgill Simpson fan? I don't know what that is. Sturgill, Sturgill? Simpson. Sturgill. Sturgill. You may not be pronouncing it right, but I don't I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer I might not be able to say what you're saying. Right, but... <laughs> <laughs> Nickelback is a stock <laughs> photo. That's the problem. But they did it right, right? Like, if you know what the fuck chord progression you need and all the shit you oh, need, yeah. then they you just were repeat like the it. Later and T.O. King and K.O.T.V. New Kids on the Block, isn't it easier just to say New Kids on the Block? No. <laughs> it's totally easier to just say New Kids on the Block. And. Wish You Were Here, I got that one. That's Pink Floyd. From the album, Wish You Were Here. Oh yeah, is that the one that has half a cigar? Yes it is! <laughs> I'm a classic 1970-80 type person. 60, 70, 80? That's all I got. I, I try and train my son to make sure he knows it's 60, 70s and 80s, but he listens to like Beatles and he's okay with that. Not a fan. You don't like the Beatles? Not really. I mean, they're like their greatest hits type stuff. I can hear on the right. I like Blackbird. Okay, good. I can play Blackbird. It's a fun one to play. It, yeah. I, you get to work your fingers quite Yeah. Well. Liam's trying to figure it out. I'm like, here, play it. And he's like, yeah, that's a little much. Because you need finger style to be able to do it. But like, I can listen to the Beatles, but I would rather, no, I wouldn't they had some good buy stuff, it. Man. Even in the like, Helter Skelter, and you're staring through the back window. And... See, like, what, like the albums that I'm buying for my record player. Yeah. I have to like 100% of the songs. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not I'm not going to invest the money. So I own Paul Simon Graceland. I have... Africans. <laughs> I have, I have uh, Led Zeppelin Zoso or 4, I think it is. I saw license plate Zoso the other day. Really? I have Eminem, uh, Kamikaze, because I like every song in there. One of them I could give or take. Um, if you look at the Eminem, Eminem Kamikaze album... It's like a it's like a Beastie Boys album from like the '80s. It's just like the same picture. Um, I got Fleetwood Mac, um, Queen, Night at the Opera, like things that you ones, yeah. you have to listen to. Like it's all you can. Dead on that one? Which one? All Dead on that Queen, Night at the Opera. No. Oh, that's News of the World. Sorry. Uh, that's the other one I wanted because I used to have that as a kid. Was News of the World? I used to do all my art when I used to draw. I would listen to News of the World, in in opera in uh, Night at the Opera. I've got Our Smith Pump. I've really got um, ten from Pearl Jam. Right now is Eminem, but that's just because I'm not an Eminem fan. Yeah, you're not an Eminem fan. If you're not an Eminem fan, but everything. Else, so I'm, I'm going to trust that that's a good album based yeah. on your. If you like other albums in your collection. If you like album. lyrical rap albums, Eminem. Uh, that's the only rap album I actually have. Um, so I got the Weezer album because it's just good. I think I got Pearl Jam ten. And oh, Green Day, American Idiot. Like those are the only albums. Oh, yeah, uh, Dave Matthews Band, Under the Table and Dreaming was the latest one. Yeah. So, I, like, that's it. And all the the problem is like a lot of the Led Zeppelin stuff. I'd like. Oh, I have uh, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Okay, good. So like, I had to pick because what I want to do is pick like the albums to kind of start with. And so, so I went with the classics. I like to get Billy Joel, Piano Man. I want to get George Michael, Faith. Um, I kind of want Michael Jackson Thriller, but I don't know if I'd listen to it. That's still like I know all the songs in there because I used to listen to it in the '80s, but like I don't know if I can do that again. <laughs> I yeah, I used to use LimeWire back in the day. I do not have Green Day Dookie, uh, but I did listen to the whole CD when I was in college. I do not have any Rush albums because I was always a fan of the... I'm like a Rush fan for just the stuff you hear on the radio. Like, I don't listen to Rush. I used to know a guy when I first... My first job that was huge in a Rush. Like, I like Tom Sawyer. Like, I, all the big Rush songs, but 
I wanted to buy just albums where I listen to the whole thing and appreciate every one of the songs. Dookie's another good one. I didn't think of that. But the American Idiot's kind of like the wall from Pink Floyd. It's like a whole two, uh, two or four album set that kind of goes through all of the songs. Yeah, any Led Zeppelin will work. Drake? <laughs> I don't have any Drake. The, I have a couple, like, for a lot of that, I was just listening to it on Spotify. Black Sabbath. I was never an Ozzy Osbourne fan either. Or ACDC and Ozzy Osbourne. Those are the ones I never listened to. Yeah, you gotta listen to American Idiot from start to finish. We can do a Boston accent guy if you really want. Do you know the Boston accent, or are you just asking? How come we don't have a Boston accent? <laughs> Dude. Uh, I don't know. D She's going the distance. <laughs> yeah. No, I listened. I, I was listening to the cake on Spotify the other day, but I was never a big cake fan. Theory of the Dead Man is good, but it reminds me of Nickelback, and I get bored of it. Uh, the new Theory of the Dead Man is not too bad. Um... <laughs> I'll see you later, Spice. <laughs> you see, you see yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> Instead of Drake, listen to Cake. Yeah, we don't have... Uh, so, back to the Boston accents. I don't know why I don't have one. Jen's parents have one. My mother kind of has one. Uh, no, I lived in Lowell. That's where I... I went to school in Lowell, but it didn't... It never caught it. I never caught the Lowell accent. I don't know why. Did you tune that thing? I did. You finally figured it out. Oh, you had the tuner. Yeah. Cheater. Alright, folks. I don't know if anybody's still on there. I was just fucking up. God, there's like almost as many people as the live stream. Like when we were actually making cocktails. You just that popular, man. We haven't done anything for like an hour. Maybe not an hour. You just feel by yourself a couple times. You watch the grapefruit and lady. Now it's all good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched the grapefruit and lady. I like cake. I know, you all, you like cake. I do like cake. Clarence Clearwater Revival. Doug likes cake, too. He, Doug likes fucking weird eclectic music. He does. I like clear, Creedence Clearwater Like, music. I learned Sublime from listening to Doug. Like, there's certain things that Doug did well, like, that he liked music. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. But then he listened to such fucking weird eclectic shit. I'm like, I'm not into that. What's his Miami accent song like? I don't know. I don't know, but I can tell you what a Massachusetts accent sounds like. Jennifer can get a Massachusetts accent sometimes. <laughs> like when she talks? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I'm Did not you as cheat? bad as my dad. <laughs> That's true. No. <laughs> Bidatas. I learned it from listening to you. Yeah. Let's have some spaghetti and bidatas. Bidatas and Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, we're gonna go to the church. I can't even say, there's probably an accent for church. Church, church. church. Cake did the theme for Chuck. I have no idea. At the air, see? <laughs> no idea. No idea. It's a lot of conservation of ours. It is. You, you take some away from places. someplace. You gotta yeah. bring them back someplace else. I got an oven with some pizza in it. You, you there's no R in Cobb, but there's one in idea. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, Dan is the master of the idea. Every time Dan says idea, he's got an R on it. Does he? All the time. Here's like, an idea. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you grew up in like the Berkshires and you're half Asian. Where's idea coming from from you? And he doesn't know what a hassock is. He doesn't know what a hassock. Like, you need to know what a hassock is. You know what a hassock is, right? Because you're from Maine. Do you have hassocks in Maine? We talked about this before. Yeah, we did. No, I don't know. Oh my god, you don't know what a hassock either. It must be... I don't know what a haberdashery is. <laughs> what? That's something totally different. <laughs> no. You know what a is. A hassock <laughs> is the same thing it's as a... Uh, ottoman. Ottoman. Oh, yeah, yeah. An ottoman. A yeah, hassock, you put your feet up. That's what my grandmother called it. And that's what it is. What? 
I can see your porn. I can see your porn. <laughs> yeah. You have legging porn on. <laughs> legging <laughs> <Shopping> porn. <laughs> legging <laughs> porn. I don't. I, Steve, I am not good at accents. I've, all I have is random Massachusetts words because I live around here. Skip readers and try pops. Oh my god, why is your thing? Because it probably has the word porn. I don't know where it's going with that. It will stay in tune until the fucking humidity changes. Alright, what do you That's Ian's cue. <laughs> Derek, you need a new Optimus Prime in this setup. Hold on, it's around here, isn't it? No. It's Where is it? Way over there. I'll get Optimus, hold on. Is it over here, like in the corner? Yeah. I got Optimus! I think I'll start saying that to people instead of see your point. Let's see your porn? <laughs> see, your porn? <laughs> see, if they get, see if they catch on it now? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have any old, I Die, when you die, when you die, you're gonna die. I have no idea. No, I thought it was oh, on the desk. It? It's not on the desk. Oh, you know. oh, yeah, here he is. I got it. Oh, shit! You had it. Yeah. Ah. You don't have the truck. Oh, there's a truck. Party. I, I lost some feet or something. Something fell out. Maybe it was the hands. I got Optimus. There's Optimus. I don't know. Liam was a fan of Bumblebee. Movie, I know. Apparently. He, he took all my... Bumblebee? Huh? Chick movie. It's a you saw Bumblebee? <laughs> Every, the problem is, I used to have Optimus upstairs in the There's attic. There's 34 people watching this right now. Holy shit. And he took it, and he would play Bumblebee with it. Friday. He would play with my Optimus, and now it's all fucking, like, <gasps> shit's missing. Of course it is. People shouldn't that. touch my shit. Do a shot of... Or can we make him do well, a shot of... where we drop everything don't make cocktails? You must yeah. have been here earlier. Well... We did the cocktails. I, we, did, we did the cocktails for two hours yeah, or three hours. Yeah, the cocktails hours. are done now. That started at like seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like it's like three and a half hours later. Gundam? Like, at this point, I should Gundam be fucking Gundam playing with the Optimus, right? <laughs> I mean, shit. Gin and bourbon and whiskey suggestions, of course. Gin, bourbon, what? Gin and whiskey who played with oh, our son played with his office? Jesus. He, yeah, he. I don't know where the back you guys is. from down south. That makes no sense to me. <laughs> Cliff Jumper was better than Bumblebee? Really? Bumblebee, Bumblebee was. I really like Bumblebee. Cliff Jumper. Oh, in the movie? I was going to say, as a, as, a, as a Transformer, Cliff Jumper is better than Bumblebee because Bumblebee was a fucking cheap gin shit. Tomorrow and some whiskey. Any suggestions? Gin? Yeah, get a gin, gin Smith, Sip Smith, gin. This. I mean, I'm making the total assumption that all these are distributed to your local area, but this is pretty good. That's Elijah's pretty good. That's a bourbon, but it's close to a whiskey. Elijah <laughs> Craig, if you're looking for a bourbon, that's a whiskey. What, is it, what was the specifics? No, he just said whiskey. Yeah, you want Elijah Craig, because we just reviewed it tonight, and it wins. Uh, 1792 is pretty good, too. 1792 is pretty good. Knob Creek. Knob Creek 120. Oh, he's had it since Smith. So, Okay. So is Sip Smith's Warrior style too strong? How's that work? Bombay East. Bombay That's East is good. tasty. A little expensive, but what's the most, guys? But it's got four extra botanicals, so it does. So you pay for those extra yeah, botanicals. They're only two fifty a piece. So. <laughs> so in the grand scheme of things, it's not. Maybe you can argue with the liquor store selling person and say, "Well, I don't really like this botanical, so can I get maybe two fifty I got this. Off? I got this on sale, Oxley. Oxley. I, I, what did we pay for this? Like twenty five? Yeah, it was. When we good. originally bought this, it was sixty dollars at the liquor store, hmm. like probably um, like ten years ago. But it's not even open yet. That honey one is probably not in this area, but that was pretty good. Bar Hill. Yeah, Bar Hill. It's a Bar Hill gin. Did you yeah, try the Bar Hill good. gin? Uh, I tried the uh, old Tom. Yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the original get, offering. Let me get some gin on my breath before I drive home. There you go. Well, the, so when you blow if you don't get pulled laser, over, actually. <laughs> It's just smell. No, Ossifer. I haven't been drinking. I've been sipping. <laughs> a lot. Just a oh. lot. Ooh, this is um, Juniper E, so if you like the Juniper Ford Oxley. What's your favorite it's Velk? It's a sweet the one that end. spins around? She's a spinny bitch. The <laughs> spinny bitch? I don't know what Velk means. I don't know what Velk means, but if you're talking about Clash Royale. <laughs> it's the girl that spins in an arc. Yeah. 
Is that Cazadores? I don't think I have Cazadores. So you might not be talking about me. I don't know. Dogfish head gin. But if you're looking for tequila, don't go for Casa Amigos. I'm sure my cat is missing me. I haven't been home yet. Who? My cat. Dogfish head You came from here from work? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you store, but yeah. <laughs> Blue coat. I got that someplace. Yeah, I got to... Uh, yeah, your cat doesn't have a friend anymore. Got a crut. <laughs> before you explode? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, You're like, I have to go home before I explode. Alright, the last stream is out last time. Alright. Yeah, We're done, people. Uh, Tangeray said, never had it. Probably Wait. better than yeah, standard. We, we haven't had Tangeray 10. Yeah, we have. I bought it before. Yeah, I think we we've have? had Tangeray 10. You haven't? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think pretty we've sure. had Tangeray 10. Yeah, pretty sure. Where? Here? Uh, yeah, I think Dan's. I'm, I think it was either Tangeray Probably 10 did. or maybe it was a different beef eater that I brought to. Oh, maybe it was a special beef eater I brought to Dan's before. I don't know, I think we've had Tangeray 10 before, but I don't remember. Hmm. Huh. Right. Anyway. The turtle head's poking. Alright, guys. Ian's got a poop, he's leaving. TMI, Ian, TMI. <laughs> oh, sorry, live stream. <laughs> TMI. Hey, guys. I'll see you later. Rainbow Gold is my favorite, says Texas. No. No. You just You're just trying to fuck with me. Alright, folks, we're done. My wife wants to go upstairs. Ian's left. I mean, if I'm down here by myself, I'm. YouTube masturbating or whatever you call it when you're playing YouTube by yourself. I don't think that's a thing. Mm, it probably is. Uh, so thank you everybody. Next month, I'm going to guess it's going to be Dan. Old Tom is pretty good. Because uh, Ian apparently is going to be around in June. So probably be Dan. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. And don't forget to watch those grapefruiting videos. Because that's... <laughs> That's some shit you'll never be able to recover from. You'll never be able to forget. <laughs> That's right, bitches. Later, all. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Roy wants to practice the.